But no, no. And, and I think if it bounced off the fence, Ty might have a chance of of getting him because he turned immediately. But it just like you said, it went out of play as we see Seager foul went off to the right side, fastball by Mason Moore. Talk to Seager's dad between games down at Ann Pashears, as a matter of fact. A couple buddies, college buddy, an old high school buddy. I played baseball with Sam Seager. Yes. At Tech. <clears throat> the baseball native. Mm-hmm. Moore up on top, and the 0 1 is outside, 1 and 1. Ian Rowe with a leadoff single, moved up on the air. Top of the first, nobody out. And Clark Seeger, their third baseman. Moore, a long look back, and comes home. This one's off his fist. A little flare going to get into left field, or right field, down for a hit. Going to score a run, and it's an RBI for Seeger. Just fisted. Sometimes you don't have to find a barrel. Just put it in play somewhere, line drive, get it to the outfield, see what happens. Runner gets a second on the air, scores easily. Can't have walks and errors. Yep. And here's Bowen, Ethan Bowen. He's their first baseman. Moore throws over. Seeger's back in safely. Van Buren out one nothing here early. It'll be easy for, you know, Mason throws kind of backwards. He, he doesn't throw uh, a, like a true pitcher with certain counts. It's a lot of off speed. If Van Buren reads it right, they'll be able to get some good jumps. Moore comes home with it. In there for a called strike. Bircher at third, Morgan's at short, Cole's at second, Pettigrew holding the runner on at first. Zitzman, Mitchell, Skaggs, right to left in the outfield. One nothing pointers, leadoff single. Breaking ball, just filthy, got in there for a called strike. Slowed it down, dropped it about 11 miles an hour from his fastball. <clears throat> Tough I, as a hitter. I thanked home plate blue between games for setting up right behind home plate. Oh, I did too. That I was did, kind yeah. of a loud gesture to this guy to maybe so he'll do it. That ball's tipped foul. He said a little bit to the inside. Right. And, you know, he, he kind of let the secret out of the bag. He said a lot of it depends on where you set up the, the catcher. You don't want to get hit. Mm-hmm. Well, if you don't want to get hit, don't get back there. I mean, <laughs> right. you've got all that equipment on. It's expensive. Why do you think catchers are back there? You think they want to get hit? No. Two strike count to Ethan Bowen. Wilcox out on deck for Van Buren. Moore brings it home outside. One and two now. Mason Moore Jr., correct? Is that a question? He is. Yes. Question mark? Moore working on that first base side of the rubber way over there. Here's the one two to Bowen. Breaking ball couldn't come back down. It was too high. Two to two, the count. Pointers in their road black tops with green numerals, gray trousers, green with the whites with blue pinstripes, a G over the left over the uh, left breast. That's outside, and the count's full. Bowen's fought off an 0-2 hole. Pants up. High here for Bowen. Showing the black socks. Here's the full count. Swing and a miss. Fooled him a bit. That ball four? It was. It would have been. Strike out number out number one. I don't know out. if you knew this, and it, it's it rare to head a lot last year. Knees in baseball showing knees are in. Yeah. It, it not a lot of people are doing it, but that's that's kind of the deal is you pull those pants up above your knees and you show your knees and I, I, most of the guys my age played so hard, you couldn't do that. You wouldn't have any knees left. Right. Yes. These guys rarely show much effort, huh? <laughs> <laughs> is this Gen X? Is that is, I, what's Gen X? I lose track. I don't know either. <clears throat> I, I'm just part of the. I just go with the old fart. I'm almost fifty, and you already are fifty. So we just go with the old fart generation. Thank you. Here's one. Uh, one out and more through over, and back in safely. That one's upstairs Ooh. to. Weston Wilcox. He's in right field here. He was their first pitcher. Well, that was a, to me that was a strike. What happened though was Holt flinched because he thought the runner kind of the runner was going to take off and change his mind. So instead of Ty sticking the pitch, he kind of got ready to throw it. 
One ball. That one's low and outside, 2-0. Oh. Mason's going to have to get his control right here. He's going to have to get back to where he's missing in the zone or around the zone. He can't get him to chase it if he's not near the zone. Seager's got a lead over at first. Moore comes home. There goes the runner and bobbled by Holt. Came up. He thought he had him dead to rights and just popped out of his glove, 3-0. Oh. Mm. We can't give him an error, Keith, or I would. I know you'd love to. Well, he, he had it stolen again. I mean, that was the, they're getting when they get good jumps on that second bounce. It's it's a good theory and stuff, but as a pitcher and catcher, you've got to you got to combat that by getting them on that hop. There's the three zero in there for. Yes, it was low ball <clears> four. <throat> Here's Matt Nichols. Maybe Matthew. Now, baseman, five, Matthew He's their second baseman. Runners at first and second now for Van Buren. Only one out still here in the top of the first. They've already got to run across. Moore's got to find that strike zone. They did. A little comebacker. Couldn't glove it. It took Morgan right to the base. His throw Ooh. over. Great pick by Petty. That could have been catastrophic, but they'll get the out at first. That's Ooh. where first baseman that can pick is so valuable. <clears throat> Infielders, by general rule, can't throw the ball straight anyway. I said that tongue-in-cheek. Right, yeah. yeah. Here's Peyton Pashir, their catcher, with two outs now. What a play from Pettigrew. Moore tried to field that on the way through behind his back. Couldn't get it. Good job of Morgan to charge and go get it. Took him a little bit too far from the base to try to get the double off. Called strike to Pashir. you got a couple of pitchers throwing today that have a lot of movement, a lot of off speed. Hitters are going to have to be patient, look to drive the ball to the right side. That's outside and a little low. One and one. Their guy's a freshman they're running out there, Keith. Yes. Is it shortstop, I believe, in game one? Freshman can't play baseball. One and one. It better be pretty good. <laughs> Two outs. That's in there for a called strike. That ball came back into him. Every school will tell you at every level, <clears throat> your best schools in the state are, are the majority of the players that you rely on are upperclassmen. I mean, you can look at every talk. Same way in football. I mean, if sure. you have a team laden with seniors and juniors, you're going to be a lot better than having a team that's. A little tapper more had to go get it, and the ball, did it hit Bashir or just threw it, trying to miss Bashir, and Pettigrew couldn't find it. Two runs came in? Yep. Mm. Van Buren got something going here. How do we score that catastrophe over there? A little pull cue shot from Pashir. Almost a swing and bunt kind of deal. <clears throat> yeah. Here's it, Austin Kane. It's probably hit where it was. I don't know that Moore had a decent routine play. It would have been an exceptional play. Center fielder for Van Buren's three nothing pointers. They're off and running here in top of the first. They throw over a little late. Moore couldn't get him. A couple of singles and a walk. They've all came around to score. Mason Moore up on top. He'll come home with it. That's a call strike to Austin Kane, their center fielder. Seventh batter to come up. They throw over. Pettigrew holding. He's back safe. Hudson Gardner's out on deck for Van Buren. If Kane can extend the at-bat. 3 nothing. Van Buren, two outs, top of the first. One strike count to their center fielder. And the runner took off. And Moore didn't get turned around in time. He had him. Would have been interesting to see how he would have played that. He'd throw behind him if he would have got... Took off the second Bashir over there. Like his hair on fire on the base pass. There he goes. The throw down from Holt. A little up the line, and he's safe. One and one. The count. Van Buren with another guy over in the scoring position now here in the top of the first. Shadows start to grow. Third base and shortstop. 
left fielder in the shadows of Smith Robinson Stadium. Home plate is a bit. Cole's trying to get into one there at second base. There's a shot, another little duck snort out to left. That's or right, and that's in for a base hit. Going to score another run. Zitzman up with it. An RBI for Kane. That's two little dink flares out to right. Hit it where they ain't. <coughs> that's because your your ball's tailing away from hitters, and they're hitting it off the end of the bat. <coughs> they're not getting enough power to push it to Zitzman. It's just enough to fall in right field. He's going to either have to start being able to throw his fastball in to see if he can get a ground ball induced to either Bircher or Morgan or or be a little bit more fine with his off speed. 4 nothing now, Van Buren. Here's Hudson Garner, their designated hitter in strike one. Lead over at first for Austin Kane. 4 nothing, Van Buren here top of the first. Looks like we're going to be in for a score fest here. If the Bulldogs are going to win, they're going to have to put up some crooked numbers. That's in. That's just outside. One and one. I saw the signal. I thought he was signaling strike. He was just saying outside. A little shove from home plate blue. That ball's up and fouled out of play. Right side, off-speed delivery. Lady Bulldogs won game one in softball. A 0-0 tie in Mountain Home varsity of soccer on the boys' side. Always fun. One ball, two strikes. Breaking ball just a little upstairs. Two and two. Good pitch. Deuce is wild here, top of the first. 2-2 two, two count, two outs. Here Moore brings it home and just missed inside, and the count's full. This is where, you know, state tournament is not one in one game. <laughs> Conference championships aren't one in one game. You've got to put together a winning streak and, yep. and not split. You've got – some teams got to take charge and other than Mountain Home and start winning. That ball's up and fouled out of play. Well, I'll refuse to panic in the top of the first. Oh, no, no. Teams that do are, are done. Yeah, right. No, I can't. I can, I'm sitting up here in the booth. So <laughs> I, I can panic all day long. Full count to Hudson Gardner, their DH. Here it comes. Chop towards third base. Can Bircher get to it? He does on a two-hopper. He's got to hurry, and he's safe. Beat the throw out. That's an infield single for Gardner. The high hop helped. Yep, and turnarounds, fair play. You got Mason Moore throwing a lot of pitches here in the first inning. And now <clears> batting <throat> the shortstop, number eight, Tristan Ray. Tristan Ray up, and there comes the pitching coach out of the Greenwood dugout. Certainly resembles Ethan Clark. That's him. You talk about a dandy for the Bulldogs. This staff is like an, a Greenwood Bulldogs all-star game, alumni, old time, we'll call it old-timers game. <laughs> you got Duff Rogers in there. You got Clark, Ethan Adams, Sandifer. Well, you not only have a bunch of experience and knowledge and grit, <clears throat> you got guys that, that know how to talk to, you know, 15 to 18-year-old boys. Right. And – <clears throat> they, they're not going to sugarcoat anything. They're going to let them know what they need to do. They're not. They're not there for their feelings or to make them feel good. Mm -hmm. You know, they're old school guys. First and second for Van Buren. Moore brings it home. Strike call to Tristan Ray, their pitcher here in game number two. Ninth batter to come to the plate. Two outs. Moore from the stretch. He's set. Comes home with it. In there for a called strike. Clark, the meeting at the mound, as Holt threw down to second and got him, or nearly got him. He's in safely. It was Kane. 0 oh 2, the count. Whatever Clark said worked. Moore's brought a couple of nice ones in there. Let's see if he can get this guy. Here it is. And this is fouled up out of play into the parking lot. Well, the hits they've gotten are fight-off swings to where they're fighting off good pitches. It's not that 
Morris throwing the ball over the middle of the plate. He's the balls that we've sat here back behind and watched them hit the, over first base and second base were balls that were a ball off the plate, right. and they're throwing their bat and just getting it just enough to get to the outfield. Swinging a miss, <clears throat> he got him, and well, that'll do it. The damage was done though for the pointers. They had one, two, three, four, five hits and scored four runs, did Van Buren. Well, half inning in, four nothing pointers. Greenwood coming to bat here at the bottom of the first. We'll take a timeout. It's a Sports Hog 103.5. You can give me a minute here. Tommy White with LSU hit a home run off Smith. He always hits home runs off everybody. 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> Who's at second base? That guy over there. Six. Who's their shortstop? Oh, Tristan Ray's their shortstop. I thought he was going to pitch. No. <clears throat> this is the one. Stewart. Stewart's the freshman. Oh, it's a lot. What's his last name? We know his first name, Stewart. Yeah, I do. I can get it from Brother Ronnie. What's the pitcher's first name? Hudson. Twenty seconds. Okay. We welcome you back to Greenwood. A little correction in my scorebook. Hudson Stewart is their starting pitcher. Tristan Ray is a shortstop. He was struck out the end of the inning in their nine hole. Like I said, he was going to be pitching. It's Hudson Stewart, a right-handed freshman. Bulldogs in a hole here right out of the gate. Let's see if Skaggs can get things going for Greenwood. Bottom of the first we go. It's 4 nothing. Van Buren leads here in game two of this doubleheader. And Skaggs is, oh, no, he wasn't plugged. I thought I might have got him anyway. Way inside, one ball. Hogs in the LSU, one to one. Keith, what inning can we end up there? Well, it's two to one now. Oh, <clears throat> they hit back to back home runs nice. in the top of the fourth. It's <clears throat> outside, two and zero. Oh. The only series that matters right now is Greenwood Van Buren. That's right. I know a lot of folks are tuned into us and not watching the Hogs yes. game. I'll update them. Good for them. That is over below three and zero. Oh. Skaggs. Looking for a leadoff walk here. Comes in batting 390. That's in there for a called strike. Well, me and you, I mean, we could help Arkansas if they just ask us. We could tell them what to do. No doubt. But there's no way they're going <laughs> to ask me or you. <laughs> Skaggs hits one to short. Gobbled up there by Ray across the diamond. Nice stretch. Kept his foot on over there. Well done uh, from Bowen. And there's one down. Here's Ty Holt. Holt comes in, updated average 382. Lights come on here at the field as the shadows grow longer from the advertising signs at Smith Robinson, left field or right field, nearly in the shadows. Really, center fielder, only one in the sun. First base and pitcher have sun in their eyes. Ball one. And freshman pitcher, on freshman. The pitcher. Kind of spiked himself, didn't throw it, and that's ball one, correct? No. Oh. They, they, he didn't release the ball. Okay. But I, I think, I would think it, yep, one ball. Yeah. That's what I thought. Well, he meant to put the other hand up. <laughs> that's inside and high, 2-0, and oh, unless Holt swung at it. <laughs> <laughs> Two ball count. Here it comes. That's upstairs. 3-0. and oh. You know, that's the thing early. I And, again, <clears throat> I, I God, well, I'll get into this in a second, and I'm going to make a lot of people mad. Which well, don't is make not, anybody mad. No, no, not, not anybody, just most people. Well, no, we don't make anybody mad. Here's 3-0, and that's in the dirt. Holt draws his 13th walk, which is the lead of the team. So stats don't matter to me because right. who have you played, who have you hit against. If you tell me you went three for three, who was it? Was it a great pitcher? Was sure. It a, right. So 
early in the season, stats don't matter. What matters more than anything, and you and I are results. What do you right. see with your eyes? That's what matters. It yep. doesn't matter, you know, Hagen Smith with Arkansas. You're like, well, he's done this. Well, what's he going to do against LSU? Yep. And he's given up two home runs. He's got a lot of strikeouts. But that's what people want to see is what can you do against yes. really good competition. Right. So, you know, people post stats all the time, and that's the part that makes people frustrated. Well, I want to post my kid when he goes four for four. Well, you know, it, it – it doesn't mean or do your kid any justice if he goes four for four against a kid that's really not a pitcher that yeah. just comes in, position you know, player. position player throwing, you know, cheese. Mm-hmm. You know, Spank I want to know how he does against the best, yep. and so you get those stats out the window. So even though we've seen a freshman come out here, it's different when you come to Greenwood and you say, "Hey, this is conference on the line." Mountain Homes in number one right, right now, yeah. but you're fighting for two or three right now. So you know this this is it's huge. So stats out the window. So to me. Stats are irrelevant the first, what, first four series in conference? Okay, I'll buy that. After four series, me and you can start talking. These stats matter because yep. now you've created a pattern and you're consistent and you can see what they've done. Right. Okay, so sorry. Well, I apologize to anybody that I no. offended that post your kids' stats every weekend. <laughs> I post most kids' stats, but I don't have any kids. But it's different. I no, no, it's different the, if yeah. you post right. it. It's different if yes. other people hear because you hear some. You're not going to post someone's stats if you hear, well, they just won a tournament that right. didn't have anybody in it. Yes. Well, here's Grant Carnes. He looks at strike one. They had a meeting at the mound, did the Van Buren coach, talk to his pitcher, um, Stewart. He probably said, dude, listen, we, we have – very few kids that have any other innings on the team. You got to throw strikes here. Carnes hot shot to third, goes to second, gets Josh Wright, who is running for Holt, and so Wright will be forced out there six four. Mm. There's two outs now. Carnes on with the fielder's choice, and Pettigrew will dig in. Carnes is DHing here in game two. And that's that's a good deal. He just threw a lot of pitches. You save his arm, let him hit though. You know, because his bat and legs on the bases are so important. Mm-hmm. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Van Buren leading 4 nothing. Put a crooked number up on the Bulldogs in the top half. Greenwood hasn't responded. Breaking ball in there for a called strike. Pettigrew comes in. By the way, Carnes up to 432 with his average. And now Pettigrew at 324. Stayed the same. Here's the one strike count. Swing and a miss. Yeah, that's the other thing. We talk about stats is, you you know, you are what you are. I mean, if if Carnes were to get hit tonight, watching him over time tells me he's a great pitcher. And he's, you know, one one outing isn't going to make or break who you are as a baseball player. Yep, true. You know, I'd say Carnes is a 400 hitter easy. There goes Carnes and Pettigrew swings and misses. And that'll do it for the Bulldogs here in the bottom of the first. We left a man on base. Just one? That's good. An improvement. <laughs> it's an improvement. Four nothing. Van Buren leads after the first inning. We will take a timeout. It's Greenwood baseball on the Sports Hog one hundred three point five. What were they saying here with what? With with the birds, I share this lonely view. I didn't find that out until about five years ago. That's what they said. I have no idea what I thought they said, but it wasn't. Me and the birds share this lonely view. My wife and I's first date was a Chili Peppers concert in Oklahoma City. Really? Yeah. Uh, the Foo Fighters opened for them. Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. I can't stand looking at social media and all the people that we follow. They all those people look old now. I know. <laughs> they look old. And we sure and we don't. I know. We welcome you back to Greenwood Baseball Field. Still trying to get a name for this thing. I was going to go with nine pines. We lost a pine tree. There's eight pines out of beyond center field. I still like eight pines. Well, th- then you get into the, if you lose another one, you can't change the name, and everybody's going to be like, well, where's that eighth pine? So well, Plant one. It was, aren't we green? It's a tree city, USA. It's a great town. Firewise community. Yeah. I have no problem with Stephen Peters Field. But- Man, Stephen Peters. I, I, I hope... They need to do something where people that, that are getting to be our age and slowly – he's got – his legacy is unbelievable what he did for the community and baseball around here, him and his golf cart and promoting yeah. sportsmanship. I mean, you look at the wall out there and you see all those conference champions. People say, well, it's a football town. It's a basketball town. The Green was a baseball town. We've been to the postseason and more – I think we're like first or sec- second or third in the state of playoff appearances in baseball like oh, nearly 50 times. Uh 
of course, four state championships. Seven other trips to the finals. Now, Van Buren probably has the latest, don't they? Didn't they win two years ago? Yeah, for sure. Or was it three? Two or three, yeah. They did. They were, had a great run. <coughs> to the I think it was championship. three years ago now that I'm thinking about it. Right, right after the Right after the COVID, the 2021 season. Here's Mason Moore back to work for Greenwood, and this is uh, Ian Rowe, their leadoff left fielder, left-handed bat. He's got a 1-1 count, and that's in there for a called strike. One and two. Moore. An uncomfortable first inning. That one's inside. Two and two. Seeger out on deck. Four of the pointers. Leading four nothing here in game two. That one's up in the air and tailing foul. No chance for Skaggs to get there to the Greenwood bullpens. And one hops into the cheap seats. Jack Wagner with the Razorbacks just hit his second home run. He was the guy that's kind of been buried on the bench since March 3rd. Came in UALR. So he ties it up in the bottom of the fourth. Raucous crowd at Mom Walker. Oh, there. Wait till tomorrow, seven o'clock start. <clears throat> two, two to Row, and just missed outside. Row was heading to the dugout. I think it was close. Greenwood travels to Rogers tomorrow. Nice. Plays Rogers, JV and varsity, or varsity then JV. Full count. There's a hot shot. Can Cole get to it? Backhands, plants, no chance. Infield single for Row, speedster. It was, but. <clears throat> That's where you've seen, and you've seen second baseman do it. It's either he's got to slide and pop up quick or stop quicker and get yep. ready to do a jeter jump stop, anything yep. but chop his feet because as he's chopping his feet, the runner's going up the line. I don't think it would have mattered whatever. No, it wouldn't. There. No, no, no. That, it, it wouldn't have. That was a, he beat her out. Here's Seeger, and the pointers are off and going again here in the second. That's going to get Coach Brewer out of the dugout. Mitchie's going to come in and pitch. We're going to have a pitch and change. Mitchell comes running in from center field, and that'll be all for Mason Moore. Rough start tonight for the kid, but he'll bounce back. 4 nothing. Van Buren leads. We're at the top of the second. A leadoff single for the pointers, and Brandon Brewer's gone to his bullpen. Let's take a break, and we'll get this pitching change after this timeout. It's Greenwood Sports Center and the Sports Hog 103.5. Uh, you can give me a minute here for sure. Maybe two minutes. They're sure taking two. a minute. Yeah, yeah give me two. two. Thank you. Well, the good news with anything that happens now is you turn around Tuesday. It's a short turnaround time. It's not like you have from Tuesday to Tuesday. Now you got, what, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then here we go again. <clears throat> I bet Ho- Holland probably went out there now. So Bercher went out to the outfield. Pitching change for the Bulldogs now. The mound number eight, Austin Mitchell. I can't see. I want to see Carter still out there with the infielders. That's Morgan. Do you want it back in ten? Petty. Do you want it back in ten? Yes. Yes. We welcome you back to Greenwood. Pitching change here in the top of the second. The pointers have chased Mason Moore. It's going to be Austin Mitchell, who really likes to wait and come in to close the games out, but they're going to call the duty early here for him. Is it Ashton Vincy out there? Ashton Vincy comes in to play infield. It looks like they may move Cole to third and put Vincy at second, the way they're standing, all those guys standing there. But <clears throat> I've been wrong once before. I remember that time. That was a long time ago. Uh, yeah. Bercher went out to center to take Mitchell's spot, from, so that brings in the new third baseman. We thought maybe Carnes would go over there, but he's going to stay at the DH spot. No, nope, you're going to send Vincey over to third. Cole's going to stay at second. And Ashton Vincey. Pretty solid player, junior. Well, here's uh, Mitchell. They throw over first right out of the box, and Rowe slides back in safely. Right out of the gate. 
Right out of the, right out of the gate. Because yeah. if you talk about box, it confuses me. I think oh. they're throwing it out of the box. Or maybe the runner ran from out of the box. Yes, so <clears throat> threw it right out the gate. Mitchell up on top to Clark Seeger. And he rips this one to the left. Skaggs on his horse. Did it burn him? Nope. It did not. Diving leap. Skaggs makes the catch. <clears throat> it will allow the runner to retreat, though, and ta- get back to first. What a play from Braden Skaggs in left field. Oh, baby. Speed is nice. When you have speed and you have athleticism, he timed it up perfectly. Made a great catch. Gets it up. Throws it second. Here's Ethan Bowen now. He's their first baseman. A righty-righty matchup. There's one down. Austin Mitchell up on top. They throw over, and in their safe head first is Rowe. You know, if they time it up, the way you combat this is you have your catcher. You tell you're going to pick, but he's going to wait. He's going to give you a signal when he sees that bounce. And if you time it up just right, it's almost impossible not to get him. And that one just missed ball one. Yeah, it makes sense, Keith, because obviously he's bouncing behind the pitcher's back on a right-handed pitcher. And you can't see him. So the catcher, if he sees that bounce, and he like a lot of times he'll close the glove and have it open. If you close it, that means pick. And if you can time it right when you see him start to bounce, you close, he picks. Mm -hmm. You can't get back while you're in the air bouncing. You know, you got to wait till you hit the ground to go back. So it's just tough. One ball count to Bowen. Mitchell throws over again. The one thing about throwing over that makes me nervous, obviously, is it's kind of like getting up and down about four or five times in golf for par, and you're going to miss that par putt eventually. <laughs> the throw over eventually is going to get by or just squirt loose and just, or be wild. It just seems like it always happens. One ball count. Maybe not, though. Here's Mitchell. Bowen waiting a long time. That's off the handle. Good job from Vincey. We talked about coming in the game ball, finding it. It sure did. He goes to second for the force. Good play. Got it rid of it quick. <clears throat> gave At least gave Cole a chance to turn it, but wheels down the line. They certainly have speed. That's a 5-4 for out number two. The row was that second out. Wilcox now is their right fielder. Walked his first time up, scored a run. Breaking pitch, fooled him. Nasty there from Mitchell. But it looked like it looked like Wilcox saw it because he kind of stayed in, yeah. but it broke so much that he didn't have a chance of hitting it. Yeah, amazing. Here's the 0-1. Weston Wilcox. Same pitch, that one in the strike zone, fouled out of play. 0-2. Now you got to come fastball. You went curveball, curveball, fastball out of the zone here. Something high or something in on the hands. I like high. I don't like – Mitchell has a tendency sometime for that ball to sail inside. Here's the old two. And just missed outside. Good mm, pitch. Good pitch. Good take. One ball, two strikes. Matthew Nichols on deck. If Wilcox can extend the at-bat here on the top of the second, pointers leading 4 nothing. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. There goes the runner. This ball's in the air. Zitzman has to run a long ways, but he'll find it in right center and make the catch for out number three. Well, a little cleaner inning for the Bulldogs there. Had to bring in Mitchell and do some relief work. They left another man on base, or they left a man, not another. It's their first left on base. 4 nothing. Van Buren leads. We are in the middle of the second inning as the sun has gone down pretty much. The field is completely in the shadows now. Lights are shining bright. Full illumination. Wind has died down. Oh, glory is limp out there in right field. Lady Bulldogs are up 4 nothing after the first inning in game two over there. Today's game being brought to you in part by our Grand Slam sponsors, J&H Automation Solutions, Craig Gigerich, State Farm Insurance, Ducks Body Shop, Freedom Roofing, MSG Waste, Shirley's Tax Service, Taylor Family Vision, Top Notch Roofing, Virtue Energy Services. Appreciate all of our sponsors for their help with Greenwood Baseball. Van Buren will face Jackson Cole, Austin Mitchell, and Zach Zitzman, five, six, and seven in the Bulldogs lineup. 
And that's Hudson Stewart on the bump for them, the freshman. Cole, the second baseman. Heading off for the Bulldogs, the second baseman, number 22, Jackson Cole. Greenwood and their white, navy blue pinstripe, navy blue G on the left breast, navy blue numerals on the back. Here's the first one. It's in there for a call strike right down the middle. You may not see another fastball. Yep. Stewart up on top. Here comes the 0-1 to Cole. There's a breaking pitch that was in there for a strike, 0-2. Now Jackson's got to find something, fight off everything. Here's the 0-2. That's low. 1-2. and two. Four nothing Van Buren. Here it comes. That one's fouled out of play. I like that. Whoever's keeping our scoreboard down there just docked them four runs or two runs. <laughs> One ball, two strikes. Curveball inside. Boy, it's a tough one. Cole got one there from home plate blue. He's on borrowed time now. <clears throat> two and two now. We, we like what's about to happen. Yep. Anytime Something. you miss that call, the next thing comes up, here comes a base hit. Here's a 2-2 from Stewart to Jackson Cole. Same spot, full count. Maybe a little more inside, maybe a little lower. Stewart's ready for Van Buren. and here it comes to Cole, bottom of the second. That's inside and high. He walked him. Good at bat. Yes, great at bat. And that, that's his, that's the omen we talk about missing the call. We were saying something good was going to happen. A walk counts. Oh, yes, for sure. Here's Austin Mitchell now, the Greenwood's pitcher. And, I, and I, my opinion is is the bunt's out of the – you can't bunt. You're down four. Yep. Yeah. And here is Mitchell. Cole with a nice lead at first. There's one lifted to the left. The left fielder was in. He'll drift backwards and draw the bead and make the catch. Mitchell got a good wood on it, but not enough. One down. Here's Zach Zitzman. Zitzman, a left-handed bat. Comes in batting 281. Cole was at 297, dropped a bit, and Mitchell was at 310 after game one. And that was outside to Zitzman, ball one. One ball count to Zach Zitzman. They throw over and back safely as Jackson Cole, head first slide. Four nothing. Van Buren leads bottom second, one out. Here's Zitzman waiting on the two oh. Yeah, that's one he would like to have back. One and one. One and one. It is one and one. One ball, one strike. Yep. One out. Here it comes. Zitzman lifts this one. That's trouble. That's going to be in the gap. And Go. Cole's got to get a good read. He'll score. Surely that's to the wall. Zitzman's on his horse. It's going to be an RBI triple. Jackson around third. And there'll be a throw in. But it's cut off. And the Bulldogs are on the board. Sleepy Zitzman comes alive here. Having a ball game here in this doubleheader. He was magical in the first game as well. And an RBI triple for Zachary Zitzman. And that was an effortless swing. Yep. And he just a great fluid swing. And, I mean, that was a shot to right center. And we told you if you hit it there and you're, yep. you got any speed, it's a triple out there. So the Bulldogs got a little something going now. A little bit of a... Wake-up call after giving up four in the first inning. They're on the board now here to, uh, at the bottom of the second. Here's Bercher now, who's in center field now. And it's four to one. Stewart brings it home for Van Buren, a breaking ball. Oh, stay in there. It did not get back to the strike zone. It was sure close, ball one. 
Burchard digs in from the right side. A righty righty matchup. That's upstairs. Two and zero. Oh. Zitzman over at third base with a one out triple and an RBI. Stewart's up on top for Van Buren. Here it comes from the freshman, the 2-0. And that's in there for a called strike. Mercer has been taken all the way. One out here in the bottom of the second. Dog has got one across right now. Looking for more, 90 foot away. Bercher swings and misses. Two and two. They call it a foul ball, officially. Brady Morgan out on deck. Didn't bat in the first game. He'll get the shot here in the bottom <clears throat> second game with the nine hole. Here's the 2-2 two -two. inside. Good eye. No, that was further in than the curveball he took earlier. Right. If you're, if you're not going to call the curveball earlier, you can't call that one. Full count to Austin Bercher, our center fielder now. Here it comes from Stewart. Swing and a miss. Just late on it. Two down. Here's Brady Morgan. Last chance for the Bulldogs here in the bottom of the second. He's our shortstop. Four to one, the score. Still working on the scoreboard. It hasn't been able to. In the park here. More, Morgan's first pitch swinging was foul out of play over here to the right side. I'm sure the natives are restless here as they've seen the score wrong. I cannot believe no one hadn't screamed up here yet to us. We got headphones on. I'm sure they have. They have it. There's a shot from Morgan. Good job. That's an RBI single for the sophomore shortstop. Talked to his old man before the game. That's exactly what we were looking for, get his back going. He was voiced a little bit of frustration. Morgan comes through clutch in his first at-bat of the afternoon. Well, and Greenwood needs to find that guy. Who's that guy going to be? You know, right. at first it was you know, freshman Cooper Webb that yep. couldn't get out in spring and then – and then couldn't get on now, yeah. and then Scott Holland, and then Brady got a chance, and then back to Holland, and you know, so he, they're, they're waiting for somebody to take that spot. Well, that flipped the lineup over. Here's Skaggs up top, four to two, and a curveball is low and inside to Skaggs, ball one. I need to invest in a pencil sharpener. That's one thing good about Russellville; they had a pencil sharpener. They throw over, and Morgan. Kind of crawled back in, but he's there. Well, this is a good time to try to steal. You've got your top of your lineup yep. up. Get him in score. you got two outs. Get him in scoring position. If he does get thrown out next inning, you lead off with your, your leadoff guy. So, you know, nothing really bad can happen. If he gets a good jump, great. Skaggs grounded out to short. First time up. There's a ball to third. Backhanded. Nice stab. Can he get to it? He does. Well done over at third base for the pointers. Uh, that's Clark Seeger. Bulldogs made a little hay, though, and that helps. Two runs across on two hits, one left on base. Van Buren leads 4-2 to two after the second inning is completed. We'll take a quick timeout. It's Greenwood Baseball on the Sports Hog 103.5. Uh, 30 seconds is fine. Ten seconds. We welcome you back to Greenwood, Arkansas. 5A West showdown doubleheader. Greenwood Van Buren. Bulldogs won the first game 3-2. to two. Carnes got the win, went the distance. Mason Moore got the start here in game two. Got beat up a little bit in the first inning. A leadoff single in the second. That sent him to the showers, and Austin Mitchell has came in in relief. Got the three batters he faced. And
And now we're here in the third inning. Four to two. Greenwood has cut the lead in half. Well, the question is going to be <clears throat> with Mitchell is how long can he go? You know, he hasn't thrown a lot. <clears throat> and to kind of pre- preserve him and protect his arm, you uh, you haven't thrown him a lot. And so now that's going to be the question. And afterwards, you know, you've got probably Zisman behind him that uh, that's done really well. I think he surprised coaches. Or you got Pettigrew. Um, or probably after that, you you got the freshman uh, Aaron Taylor. Yeah. Well, here's Matthew Nichols to lead off for Van Buren in the top of the third. He grounded out to short his first time up. And Mitchie brings the first one home, and it's a chopper to third. Vincey, nice gobble across the diamond. Pulled Pettigrew off the bag, though, and that's going to be an error. Mm. E5. Everything looked good until the throw went way left. Yep. Pettigrew made a great dive at it to try to gobble it up, but just couldn't. Had he caught it, he still would have was pulled off the bag. And here's uh, Peyton Bashir now. He RBI single. Two RBI singles, as a matter of fact. His first time up. Mitchell. Up on top. Looks over. Comes home with it. That's in there for a called strike. Four to two. Van Buren leads. Top of the third. It should be tougher to steal on Mitchell. He's quick to the plate, and he gets the ball there quick. One strike count to Pashir. Here it comes. Breaking ball missed low, one and one. If you're Greenwood, you just want to do what they did last inning. You score a couple every inning, hold them, get things settled down defensively, and just score a few and eventually catch back up. Fastball just missed outside, two and one. Close. Even with the bag at third, Vinci was up on the grass for a minute. He's backed up. Here's the 2-1 now to Pashir. Inside, 3-1. and one. Four to two. Pointers lead. Put four across in the first. Greenwood... Matched him with two in the bottom of the second to cut the lead in half. There goes the runner. And that was ball four, I believe. So the runner's safe. Holt gunned him down, but to no avail, it was ball four. Mm. Which it was close. It was on the bottom of the strike zone. So there's first and second now for Austin Kane. He is their center fielder. He hit an RBI single out to a little flare to right his last time up. So nobody out. Van Buren's got something brewing here in the top of the third as well. Kane, a right-handed bat. Mitchell from the stretch peers in. He comes set. A glance back to second. Here it comes. Square to bunt. Pulled back and a called strike to Kane. Woo. He didn't get down coming back, and <clears throat> Brady thought he had a chance of when he got back to the bag of <laughs> to had that ball land right on his shoulder. <laughs> One strike to count. Mitchell up on top. Here it comes. Bunts in the air. Can Pettigrew get there? He couldn't. Oh, what a valiant effort from Pettigrew and foul ground to try to dive at it and make what would have been a highlight real catch. It goes down as a strike. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> so he t- he jumped a little early, kind of hit up on his wrist. Yep. <clears throat> Great effort. The Absolutely. fact that he even got to that ball right, was, I agree. was pretty amazing. Because <laughs> he was charging to, for the bunt, and when it was popped in the air, he had to change course and exit stage left over here to foul ground. You talk about his hitting. That's one thing that you can't be undersold is how good he is at first. Yes. No question. Two strikes now to Kane. Swing and a miss. There's a strikeout. Oh. A very ne- needed strikeout. Huge. And as, as a coach for Van Buren, you got to be like, okay, we're going to bunt him over. Mm-hmm. Turns into now a strikeout. <clears throat> That's frustrating. Here's Hudson Garner. He's their DH. He singled, infield single his first time up over to the le- left side. Can Mitchell find a double play ball? One out. Top of the third. Four to two pointers. 
And there's one fouled over the first base dugout. Probably can pick up his thumbs over there, too. Mm. It does right off his thumbs inside. <coughs> Mitchell doing a good job working both sides of the plate. Yep. One out here in the top of the third. Runners at first and second for the pointers. Mitchell, he's ready. And turns around and fakes the throw. Just keep him honest. You don't want him to, to be able to take off whenever he lifts that leg. And we got headlights in the headlights. parking lot. I think whoever that is in the car is leaving, so they're heading out. Hopefully they've got us tuned in over there. Have a safe trip home. Here's the old one. And a base hit to Cole. Gobble him up. It's going to score a run as that ball goes into center field. Jackson tried to backhand it to no avail, and there's runners at the corners and a run across for the pointers mm. and an E4. That should be one he bellies up. That way it's an easy toss for double play. He's hit hard enough. Should have been two. So Hudson Gardner reaches on the error. An RBI. I don't guess you don't get an RBI no, over an error, no do you? Error. No, you wouldn't. <clears throat> Here's Tristan right now. He's in their nine hole. One out is five to two now. Porter's one across here in the third. The runners at the corner still. Still double play action. Here's Tristan Ray. Mitchell comes home with it. And the bunt's in the air and back into the netting over here. Foul ball. This is where you can see which teams prepare <clears throat> you know, situations. You got first and third. You got a bunt situation. You got a possible leave early situation. <clears throat> Holt's going to have to make a decision. I'm sure he's already made the call whether to throw it to Cole to cut off so you can cut the runner down or is it going to go through. All those things. This this is what's fun to me about watching, and especially at the high school level. Yeah. Most teams just like, oh, when it gets to this, you just kind of wing it, see what happens. <clears throat> but I know Brewer takes pride in making sure they've been working on this stuff since uh, September. Yeah. Oh, one count. And Mitchell steps off. He's back up on top now. Ray checks over with Coach at third base. The Van Buren shortstop. They throw over to first. Back safely head first. The guy at third is getting such a big lead. I like a snap throw to third if – if That's I don't know what the play is right now, but – uh, maybe Ty will see that and then just come up throwing to third because you got a guy with his chest facing home. He, it's hard for him to get turned around. That's Bashir over at third. That ball's in the dirt, or outside, rather. Ball one. Almost looked like he was going to delay steal for a second. Yep. 1-1 <clears throat> one, one count. You throw in the, the in the equation, Keith, the new third baseman, Vinci, has how much has he worked yeah, on the well, freshman throws. catcher, yep. new guy at third, yep. yeah. Here's a 1-1 from Mitchell, and he'll come home with it. It's outside. And Holt did throw down to third. It was a little up the line. Vinci got it. Well, he's anticipating the problem. <clears throat> and, and this, Burr's going to have, gonna, I don't know if he watches or not, but the corners are just standing flat-footed. Nobody's breaking to the bag. So if Ty throws it to the bag, it may go down the line because yep. Vinci's late getting there. Your yep. defense is just standing on their heels. And you can't be good at defense if you're not aggressive and, and you're not anticipating plays to be made. Right. Here's a 2-1 now to Tristan Ray and Mitchell's up on top. There goes the runner. Ball's in the air. He'll have to retreat. Who's going to find the B? Is it Bircher in center? It is. Is it deep enough? They're going to come home. Petty cuts, but Bashir's going to score. Now we've got a runner hung out and dry over here, and he will be, nope, safe. Oh, dang it. The little toss from Pettigrew to Cole was dropped over there, and he'll get to retreat to first base. I'm not sure why he drifted at all. A sack fly, though, for Ray, and another run across for Greenwood as Bashir came in to score. Well, there's a plethora of small mistakes. Bircher should have got behind the ball. <clears throat> he had nothing behind that ball when he threw it. Um and he, you don't throw it to your cutoff. You throw it to home. You know, if that would get past, that gets past uh, Pettigrew, it's, it was over here to the right, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So, you know, and then Pettigrew does get it. Well, but the gotta, ball pulled him to right center, yeah. Right, that's what, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's just, Green has got to get better at these small things. Here is Rowe now, the left-handed batting leadoff. Runner goes. Holt will throw down. Dead mean. What a shot from Holt, the one-hopper. Got down there with it, did Morgan, and they cut down the runner trying to swipe the bag. 
and, and that, some of the small things I like on that fly ball, if you watch Morgan, he's faking the double play. Now, if yep. the runner's taking off and he sees Morgan, he runs and gets down. Morgan did a great job on that play of doing something small. And so that will bring Rowe back up to bat when we get to the fourth inning. Well, Porter's got two more runs across. There was an er- there was two errors. And any hits? No hits? We had a hit. Got two runs across. Mm. A walk and two errors. That, that'll do it. Six to two pointers. We're in the middle of the third inning. Lots of commotion I'm hearing over from the softball diamond. We'll see if we can get an update from the softball game. Six to two Van Buren here in the baseball game, middle of the third. It will be Ty Holt, Grant Carnes, and Bri- a Brady Pettigrew calling Bryce his, most of his life. <laughs> When you get the brothers that come through, Morgans, the Hasleys, the Bodas, Sandifers. Uh, you like the commitment, though, especially. Ellers. I don't know if you're still going to sit. I'd like to have this conversation 10 years from now with the uh, the new rule, you know, about being able to transfer wherever you want. You don't have to move anymore. I think Greenwood people are pretty loyal. You can tell that by the coaching staff. Yep. I don't think you have a problem here, you know. But I don't think anybody's going to move out. Where are you going to go? Well, it's going to get interesting with Southside and Northside coming in the conference where, where their kids go. Well, Southside, Northside, not yet. I don't know if Northside Close, ever right? would. I don't, Southside's for sure coming down in football. First one to Holtz outside for ball one. Greenwood catcher. Inside ball two. Walked his first time up. Leads the team in walks with 13 now, I believe, on the season. 2-0. There's a bug up the box, and it's a leadoff single for Ty Holt. And that'll bring Grant Carnes up. Bulldogs trying to rally here. Down four runs. Might as well start right now. Yeah, let's go. Four to one. Greenwood leads the softball, middle of the third inning. Courtesy runner comes in for Holt. That's Josh Wright. I believe, wasn't it? Usually is. Here's Grant Carnes. DH here in game two. Got the win in game one. Pitching. That's off. Pool cued that one foul outside first base. One strike. Carnes digs in from the right side. It's Hudson Stewart on the bump for Van Buren. He's a freshman. Here comes the 0-1 to Grant Carnes, the junior. Fast ball's outside. Nope, the call of the strike. Wow. That was way outside. It was. Carnes knows it, too. <clears throat> Nothing to do with that. The only thing that's been consistent is the inconsistency of that outside pitch. Yep, right. 0-2 now to Carnes. He'll have to protect. Don't throw it anywhere. He's swinging. That one's in the dirt. Oh, and no. Wright's hung out the dry at first. <clears throat> They'll throw down to second and get the pickle going. Josh now going to try to go back to second. Now he bails out and it's over. Oh, boy. Well, that's a caught stealing. Or a pickoff, however you want to call it. That's just bad base running. Let's see. Two, four, three, two, I believe. Well, you get a leadoff hit. You get a leadoff hit, and then four, three, you can't four. Uh, you can't two four three four make anything off of it because you get picked off. Yep, not good. Two and two. Well, you just flush it and move on. Let's see if Carnes can restart. But that's where a lot of stuff what happens defensively mm-hmm. carries over offensively. Yep. <clears throat> One out here in the bottom of the third. Here it comes from Stewart. That's outside. That was the same spot as strike two, and that's why the crowd's kind of raucous. Oh yeah, they're raucous. Bashir signaled over to coach that it was outside. Yeah. Full count to Carnes. Here it is. Swing oh, and a that was outside. That was ball four. <clears throat> and two down now for Brady Pettigrew. He struck out his first time up. The Greenwood first baseman. Six to two Van Buren. Number 
Well, the freshman can always say I struck out Grant Carnes. Nothing else. Here's Pettigrew. There's a shot back up the gap. Short stop, gloves it behind second base. Well done. Good play. Fluid look. Well, one hit. Caught stealing. Nobody left on base. Greenwood trails six to two after three innings. We will take a timeout on the Sports Hog 103.5. Minute. Winning? Yeah, Stovall had a single for hit. Graphics are unbelievable. Whoever runs this show over here with the Sports Center. I've seen better. <laughs> What's VNBN? Van Buren. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. We welcome you back to Greenwood 5A West Baseball Bulldogs. Split their first conference meeting down at Russellville a couple of weeks ago. We're hoping to get a sweep here at home, but they'll have some work to do. One game one. They're in a hole here in game two. It's been somewhat of a comedy of errors, if you will. So let me ask you a question. It's just for conference to make it to state, just top four go. Yeah. So you just if you split all the way down. At some point, you're going to have to sweep somebody. I think eight and eight would get your order. We is there seven? I mean, there's uh, eight. Be fourteen. There's eight in our conference. It'll be 14 games, seven and seven. Yeah, you'd probably need to sweep somebody. Need to sweep. Hmm. Count on Siloam there. Swing and a miss. Mitchell facing Ian Rowe, who was up whenever we caught their guy stealing. And it's in a 1-1 count now. There's a shot. Petty gobbled it up. It ate him alive. Can he get to the base? Oh, ah, he probably should have went and got it, but he pitched to Mitchell, and Mitchell wasn't there. And he's safe. Oh, that's a tough one. I think Pettigrew would have had it. Infield single. Mm, tough one there. Almost time to have a little campfire chat at the mound. Regroup. Here's Seeger now for Van Buren. They're in business. Man, you, you've watched enough baseball. <clears throat> you know, when something goes like this, it's that, that rock starts rolling downhill. It's tough. That's right. The only regrouping you can do is tomorrow at, well, we're not going to practice tomorrow, but <laughs> you yeah. call one Saturday right. since Easter Sunday, and yeah. then you fix it. Here's the old one. Now, that one's in there to Seeger. Mitchell throws over, back in safely as row. You do some running. You, you put some pressure on some kids, and you see who rises to the top and who quits and who doesn't like it, and you just you turn up the pressure a little bit. 6-2, of course, still plenty of time to make this game our way. One strike count, Mitchell comes home with it. In there for a called strike. 0-2. Oh Good job by Holt getting under that ball. Yep. I don't give him credit a lot of times for <clears throat> him being able to frame, but that's one thing he does. He has some soft hands. 0-2 oh count to Clark Seeger. They throw over, and he's back in safely. Both dugouts get a little raucous. Two strikes on Seeger. Mitchell's up on top for Greenwood. Six to two. Van Buren leads top of the fourth. This one's in the air. Zitzman's drawing the bead in right now to come in. Now he's got it. And out number one. Zitzman's been active out there. We get five put outs in the her catch. Let me put out. Right? So so here you know, you've watched baseball. Uh -huh. You can tell when a guy's comfortable and like he's making those effort look effortless. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I, the guys that are going back and forth and holding their glove up in the air, uh -huh. they're unsure of themselves or eventually gonna make a mistake and even if he makes one, he's allowed to because he makes it look so cool right now. That's right. Here's Bowen now their first baseman struck out and reached on a fielder's choice. Strike. And that's in there for a called strike. Mitchell's gonna get settled in here. 
One strike. And Austin Mitchell throws over. Nearly got him that time. Almost got him on that bounce you talked about. Rose slid back in safely. Oh, it's huge. I mean, if, if you, especially if you can time it when he bounces, and that's why you teach kids in base running don't bounce because once you leave the ground, you can't do anything until you hit the ground again. Right. Here's the 0-1. It's in there for a called strike. I notice his bounce is a little bit smaller. Yes. And you're going to see it tomorrow night with Rod. Rodgers will do it so much, you're, you're going to get annoyed. Of course, we won't be there watching it. I'll be sure and tell you about it Tuesday. <laughs> they throw over, and there went the ball to the fence. I told you. Par, par, yep, finally made a bogey. Uh-oh. This lets a rocket to third, but it was up the line. He would have got him as they tried to go first to third. Uh, did row, but he made it safely. Good sh- good arm from Zitzman, just a little offline. Woo. Mm. When you get him on the mound, it's kind of like that, too, where it's, it, it may be a little offline one or two times, but, <laughs> man, he knows how to pitch. He's he's coming along. Baseball's hard anyway. It's, just, it's, it's hard. It really is. Here's Mitchell. This one's a shot, and it's a base hit. Double. From Bowen in the gap to the left center. He's going to get two for sure in an RBI. And the throw there, of course, he probably would have scored from first, but certainly made it easier jogging in from third base. Well, that's the approach. The batter's approach there is just hit something hard with the infield in. Yep. So, and then you got Van Buren over here dancing. <clears throat> the way we're playing, I wouldn't be too proud with the split. It's like, why didn't they sweep us? Yeah, seven to two, <laughs> no doubt. Here's Wilcox now, their four-hole hitter. He's in the right field. And I say that they're, they're still one of the top four teams, and I, and I think Greenwood is. Mm-hmm. But you, at some point, you got to start playing like it and, and stop talking. That ball is upstairs to Wilcox. Ball one. Seven to two. Van Buren. Just missed inside, I guess. Two and oh, the count to Weston Wilcox, their right fielder. Righty, righty matchup. Runner at second base for Van Buren. One out here in the top of the fourth. Mitchell brings it home. There's a chopper. Morgan waited on it. Well done. He'll throw to first to get the out. Good job of base running, not going. Good job of Morgan waiting back to get on the big hop. Good job all the way around. That's clean baseball. Bowen <laughs> stayed at second. It's going to be Matt. Matthew Nichols, their second baseman, grounded out to short and reached on an error, scored a run in the third. Righty, righty matchup, seven to two. Van Buren's got one across here in the fourth. Oh. He's not finishing that one. pitch. He's throwing that curveball and it's staying inside. We've seen it almost hit a couple batters. He's he needs to throw it, throw it hard. One ball count. Mitchell up on top, checks the. A couple of checks back to second. That one squirts away from home, but the runner got a bad read on it. Didn't go. Amazing. 2-0 and o count. Whew. Bulldogs fortunate there. Yeah. Two outs, though. Holt dodged a bullet. <laughs> mine. Seven, mine, seven, mine. <laughs> seven to two. Van Buren leads. Oh. That's the ball just missed. Wow. 3-0. and o. Whew. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Mitchell up on top. He'll come home with the 3-0. He walked him. So first and second now for Van Buren. Here comes Peyton Peshear. Two outs. Sheds the catching shin guard. And he'll head up to the plate. Take his spot on the right side. First and second for Van Buren. Greenwood in a jam here. Hasn't been going their way at all in this game, too. Nothing, really, for that matter. Mitchell up on top. Comes home with it. Bashir lifts this one. It's going to be foul unless this one can get there. Oh, it just dropped foul. Wow, what an effort diving Superman style in foul ground for Zach Zitzman. But it's a foul ball. Man, that was close. Wow. I thought he had it until I saw the ball roll. Yeah, it I looked did like too. it went right in his glove. I did too, Keith. You just got to figure out how you got a bunch of kids out here that are they're kind of quiet and unassuming, and 
you got to get them fired up a little bit. You got to get them to where they have that fire, and you know, getting down to Van Buren's got to mean something to where you turn it on, turn it up a level. There's you know. that ball that went inside we talked about from Mitchell, one and one now to Pashir. Two outs, top of the fourth. Pointers up seven to two here in the nightcap. Inside and low. Two and one. We'll play seven innings. Bulldogs still with plenty of at bats, four more. But they got to shut this thing down right here and see if Mitchell can do it to Pashir. There's a hot shot, got through the five six hole. And Coach is going to send him. Skaggs' throw comes home, and it's way up the air. Mitchell did a good job of backing up, and the pointers get one more across on the RBI single by Pashir. Your only chance as an outfielder to throw him out is if you run through the ball and get rid of it quick, and he waited on it. So it should have been hit your cutoff anyway and try to keep the guy that hit it from moving up a base. Nichols over to third. And here's uh, Austin Kane now. He's got an RBI single will flare out to right and struck out. Eight to two now. Hagan Smith at 97 pitches, just got his 10th strikeout. Wow. That guy's amazing. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. They put another crooked number up. Emburn didn't score in the second inning. Four in the first, two in the third, two here in the fourth. There's a comebacker right to Mitchell. He'll jog over and underhand it to Pettigrew. And 1-3 on the putout. But the pointers got two runs across on two hits. There was an error. They left two on base. Well, what's going to end up happening is Green is going to have that reputation of, you know, you can beat teams just on reputation alone like you're supposed well, to beat them so you have confidence. And <clears throat> if they're not careful, they're going to develop the reputation of, well, you're not going to beat Carnes, so just win the second game. Well, You know, because Russellville did it. Van Buren's doing it now. I mean, you've got to, at some point you've got to change that to where we're going to be tough no matter who's on the mound. Well, let's hope they're get, get rallying the troops over there and get these bats hot as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Tonight's game sponsored in part by our dugout club sponsors, Anchored Hope, Ben Sanitized, Boondocks, Farmers Bank, Greenwood Express Lube, Liberty Roofing, Oak Bauer Pest Control, West Ark Plumbing, and Ronnie Terry Roofing. Hudson Stewart back out for Van Buren. He's been really good for the most part. One, two, he scattered three hits, I guess. Greenwood's got a couple of runs across, but they're in the same spot where they started that rally with Cole in the second. Cole, Mitchell, and Zitzman here in the fourth. Eight to two, Bulldogs need to chip away again here. Or get all six, I don't care. Maybe score seven, take the lead. Well, if you can get half, even if you can't get half, you need to get one or two this inning. <clears throat> it puts too much pressure offensively yep. to get more later. I mean, I, I know we talk about this freshman for Van Buren. He's done well, but our hitters aren't helping themselves out. That's any. right. Here we go, Jackson Colt. Walked, scored a run. First, was a breaking ball that missed somewhere, ball one. Maybe low. Cole's ready. Here it comes from Stewart. Here's a chopper to third. Oh, what a great play over there on a ball that would normally handcuff most guys. Seeger with a magical pick on the short hop and got Cole 5-3. We got to think he works on that. You know, guys that play, they work on getting that short hop and attacking it, especially yes. a high chopper like that. He yep. he made a great job pushing through the ball and then yep. throws it a little bit low, but that's why you have a first baseman over there to get the hard ones. Here's Austin Mitchell now, Greenwood's pitcher, fly it out to left. His first time up, once pitched right to Seeger again. He gobbled it. Can he make an error this time? He does not. Across the diamond, 5-3. Three. three pitches, two outs. And now Sleepy Zitzman's chance. Zachary, who's been fantastic tonight, an RBI single. I beg your pardon, RBI triple his last time up. Zitzman was two for four in the first game. With an RBI and scored a run. 
We've only got three hits this game. Yep. Here's Zitzman. He backs out. They'll reset now. Stewart gets ready up on the top. Two down here. Outside. Ball one. Squirts back to the backstop. And Zitzman a junior? Yes. Yeah. Whew. One ball count. Breaking ball got in there. Good pitch from Stewart. One and one. I think it had late movement. It came quickly. I mean, Green was putting pressure on Seeger. They're hitting ground balls, but he's not caving. We need to hit the ball somewhere else. Right. Zisman swings and tip fouls that one. One and two now. He'll have to grind here. Two outs, bottom of the fourth. Bulldogs trailing eight to two here in the nightcap for this doubleheader. Carnes got the win. The Bulldogs win three to two in game one. Here it is. And Zitzman goes the oh. other way. Fell coming out of the box. The shortstop gathers and pulled the first baseman off. Had Zitzman got out cleanly, he probably would have been there in between the high throw. It's just game of inches there. One, two, three, they went in the fourth. Bulldogs going to have to get the bats a-going. Stop the offensive output here from Van Buren, first of all. Porters lead eight to three. We'll take a break here as we head to the fifth inning on the Sport, uh, Sports Center, Greenwood Sports Center, and the Sports Hog 103.5. minute five five errors three hits that's not a good recipe if you're wanting to win that's like you wouldn't have those two things in the mix no. <clears throat> they've only left two on base <laughs> the only two that got on base huh oh and then, by the way, and then you're going to, whatever happens tonight, you got to go to Rogers tomorrow. Yeah, you don't want to go up there with the. Whew. I guess but, they're pretty decent. Uh, the, uh, pretty sure they're really good. I think if it's the ones we. Mr. Holland, do you know, is it the ones that are ranked number one in the state for their division? The Mount, Is it the Mounties or Heritage? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Heritage to where they're. they're we already played them, haven't we? No, we played the other ones. Oh. Ten seconds. We are back here in Greenwood. Bulldogs baseball. Tim Terry, Keith Holt, glad to have you aboard here on Greenwood Sports Center and the Sports Hog 103.5 Fox Sports Radio. Mitchell back to work for the Bulldogs here in the top of the fifth, and the first one's over but low to Hudson Gardner, their designated hitter. That one's in there for a called strike. One and one the count. I'm pretty sure the other third of 107 West L's listening. I'm not sure, but right. I think so. Well, good. There's a chopper to oh. high hop it right over Vincey at third, and it's well, that's a tough scoring. I mean, it's it's probably a hit because it didn't touch him, but right. you, you would hope that he'd get in front of the ball and it's take it off the chest, short hop it, get it on a short hop. That thing took a high hop over the top of him. We're gonna have a pinch runner. And it is number 30. I think it's 30. Eight to two. Holt had some words for him. Probably let's go get a ground ball. Let's roll it up. Maybe 39. We'll try to get the number of the pinch runner for Van Buren. As Gardner with the leadoff single, Van Buren at it again. Here's Ray now. He's their nine hole. Short stop. The bunt's down to good one. Mitchell charged. Pitch to Pettigrew. And there's one down. The sacrifice is good. So, man, I thought Mitchell was going to go attack him at first base. Well, he was. Sure, he could have went and just touched it, kind of like the Little League T-ball where the pitcher just gobbles them all up, goes and runs to first and gets everybody out. Thought he might just go ahead and do it. One out. Top of the order. Here's Ian Rowe. And Van Buren's going to take whatever they can get. If you can just t tack on a little bit more, it's just like digging that knife just a little bit sure. deep, deeper into the Greenwood Hearts. Rowe's three for three, scored two runs. 
It's a good day. Three singles so far here in game two. Yes, sir. And we'll try to go the other way with that one. Fouls it back into the netting. One strike. Eight to two. Van Buren leads here in the top of the fifth. Game two of this doubleheader. Mitchell up on top in relief. And that one missed low. Mm. One and one. Must be some high drama in softball. Normally the softball games end a lot quicker. They're usually over here watching the end of the boys games, but they're still at it over there. 1-1. One, one. Call Ooh. strike on the outside black. That was a good job by Holt because yeah. from here it, it looked like that was a ball and a half yes, off. I thought too. Mr. Holland, what did you see over there? One and two. One down. That's outside. I'm going to have to – see, I'm not wanting to turn. This is – actually, this monitor is almost as good as the real thing. Well, there's not a net in the way, too. So, you, Joey B's bringing to the picture from Cincinnati. He's doing – Here's uh, the 2-2. Two, two. Who's the net? Uh, who's – Swing and a miss. They finally got Ian Rowe out. And there is two down. Well, let's see. That is the second strikeout. For Mitchell and Clark Seeger now, who had an RBI single and flied out twice. He's one for three. Breaking ball just missed inside. Barely. Wow. One ball count to Seeger. That's upstairs. Seeger with a nice inning over at third. But see, it's just it's just like that right there. Nobody's moving, you, and you get back on your heels. And if you have no energy and nobody's moving after every pitch, it's easy to. There's one to shortstop gobbled up by Morgan. Can he get the cross the diamond? Yep. He sure does. Got him six three. And then you have people walking off right now. I mean, it's just you got to get energy. Got to. And they left a man on base. There was a hit. No runs. They've left four on base here. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Bulldogs, only three more at-bats. They've got to get going here. Trailing eight to two to those pesky pointers. Tonight's game brought to you in part by our Grand Slam sponsors, JH Automation Solutions, Craig Gigerich State Farm Insurance, Ducks Body Shop, Freedom Roofing, MSG Waste, Shirley's Tax Services, Taylor Family Vision, Top Notch Roofing, Virtue Energy Services. Appreciate all those folks and their help with Greenwood Baseball. Six to one, the Lady Bulldogs lead after four innings in softball. Van Buren freshman throwing a gym. Yeah. I mean, he's got the bat stymied. Um, and whether it's Greenwood's fault or not, it's, you got to give the credit to the pitcher. Absolutely. I mean, it's, you know, you don't know what movement he has on his ball, but he's he's been successful. And, and you got to think now, you got four years of this. Yeah. You know, you got the Wilcox is a sophomore. Yep. You got another, you know, two years after this of, of three years total of Wilcox. It's yeah. So Van Buren, you know, Weatherford does a good job with those guys. And uh, Greenwood's better start bringing their A game. Well, we'll start right now with Bircher. Struck out his only other at bat in the second inning. Time to get something going here in the bottom of the fifth. Bulldogs running out of time here in the nightcap, down eight to two. First one from Stewart and Bircher's got the bunt, shows bunt, fouls it straight back. Birch will take a hit any way he can That's find right. one. He'll he'll bunt, he'll hit, he'll get hit. One strike to the Greenwood center fielder now. Started the third. Mason Moore was pitching. Mason got pulled in the top of the second. When Mitchell came in from center, Bircher went to center. Mincy went to third. One strike. Inside. One and one now. Can't give up on that pitch. He kind of gave up on it kind of early. Here comes the one one. That's in the dirt. Two and one. Need some base runners. Eight to two, Van Buren, bottom of the fifth. Leading off is Bircher, and he rips this one to left. 
but the left fielder in a little bit, had to drift a hair back and makes the catch for out number one. That is Rowe out there. Well, here's Brady Morgan. He's got a RBI single. He's one for one here in the nightcap. I'd like to see him keep going here. Talking about that bat they're trying to find. Well, you need it for, if he's going to be the future at shortstop. He's a sophomore. You you don't want to have to keep pinch hitting right. for your for your shortstop. You'd like to have a guy that can contribute and and that way you could do other things with another bat somewhere else. But you know Brady's going to be fine. He competes. He's got to get confidence in himself. It's one hundred percent a confidence thing with Brady. First one fouled out. Zero and one, and that's a horrible call. Whoa, that the... ball was way outside. Called it strike two. Man, that's wow. tough. Whew. Now he's got to swing anything with this strike zone expanded like that. Here it is. Low. One wow. and two. Yeah, someone said that was the same spot. They weren't lying. <laughs> One ball, two strikes to the Greenwood shortstop, Brady Morgan. That one's kind of pulled that back foot, but he's got enough of it to foul it into the Van Buren dugout. If, if you watch it, he steps out with his front left foot. And then as he gets all the way on his left foot, his back foot's going back towards the dugout, too. And I, I just – he's got to stay in there. It starts on the ground up with hitting. Yep. And, and once he fixes that, he's he's got great hand-eye coordination. Yep. You know, he had a big hit against Russellville, I guess, last, in that first yes. conference doubleheader, too. So he's trying to make the most of his time. Here's the one-two now to Morgan. And Stewart brings it home. This one's fouled in the air a mile high. Is it in a stay in play? But sheer off with the mask. And it hits in the Greenwood fan area. One ball, two strikes. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Bulldogs need something positive. They've got zero energy right now. Eight to two. Stewart kicks and fires for Van Buren. And Morgan battling up there, fouls another one off. Man, to me, it starts with senior leadership you, yep, and you don't sure. you don't have to raw raw or get in people's face you just you have to have energy and then expect that out of the younger guys yep. for them to have it absolutely here's the one two inside two and two good at bat going here for morgan let's see if he can cash it in get on base bottom of the fifth one out and brady morgan that's outside Three and two. <laughs> they're, they're throwing it down. <laughs> Catcher's yeah, throwing it down. Not normally good when you <clears throat> throw it down on the ball three. No, but that was, clo that was yeah, closer was than the close. ball that was a strike earlier. Right. I agree with that. And that's some chin music. And there's a walk with one out. Good job, Brady Morgan. He's on base again and flips the order over. Here's Skaggs. And the time is now, boys, to hit the gas. Well, you got to do it now. Yep. You know for sure you're going to see the meat of your order in this inning. If you don't do it now, you may not get another shot at it. That's right. We'll see what Skaggs can do. He's grounded out twice, once to short, then to third. See what Stewart can do with some traffic on the base. He'll come home with it. That's in there for a called strike. See, and I'd like to see Skaggs attack that pitch, hit it to right center yep. with his speed. He... Yeah, he could be a triple machine if he could be accustomed to hitting it to the right center gap. Here's the old one to Skaggs. Then swing and a miss. And I'll tell you, this is a testament to if you're a coach, you got a pitcher that's throwing strikes. That's that's what you tell him, throw yep. strikes. Yep. I mean, he's not overpowering anybody. No. I don't know how many strikeouts he has, but he uh, disagree with how many strikeouts. Three. So, I mean, he's not just mowing everybody down. He's just throwing strikes. There's one in the gap. Five, six home. Bulldogs got something brewing here with one out. Runners at first and second. Skaggs came through with a nice single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got three strikeouts, seven ground outs, though, Keith. He's been throwing well, a lot of ground balls. Well, and that's you keep the ball low yep. and get people out front and where they're all arms. We haven't hit very many things other than Zitzman's to the fence. We haven't hit a whole lot of stuff hard. Here's Ty Holt, walk and single. One for one here in the nightcap. That's some chin music and got out of the way there. Ball one. Bulldogs with runners at first and second. We've got a car with their headlights on. 
One out here. That was the first. Well, they're leaving now, so the car's pulling up. We need to get banners. Just fill that whole thing with banners. <laughs> right. I mean, it, it's an almost an issue weekly, right? Yeah, just for a second. It doesn't usually take that long to get somebody moving on. Here's the 1 0 count. And Holt backs out. He asked for time. It's granted. No, 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 no. It's a 1 0 count. One ball count. Yeah, one ball count. The home plate blue had a strike on his ticket. Oh, he was see not. Me jump out this window. Right. <laughs> <laughs> one ball count to Ty Holt. Here it is. Stewart checks on the runner at second for Van Buren. And he'll come home with it. Just a little upstairs. Good eye from Holt. Leading the team in walks 13 right now. 2 0 count. Bulldogs need to get a rally going down 8 2 here in the bottom of the fifth. Hudson Stewart up on top. He'll throw to second and no problem back in there safely. Is Brady Morgan. He walked. Skag singled. Moved him over. Runners at first and second. Carnes on deck. Boy, I'd like to see Holt get on base. See what happens with Let Carnes. Carnes look at him with him loaded. Stewart's going to come home for Van Buren, and he hit through it behind him. And the runners will move up as it went to the fence. So now Holt's in a spot now with two RBI opportunity and a 3-0 count. And begging Coach Brewer to cut him loose. You know, and I'm with you. I, I Him and Carnes right now, Pettigrew. Yeah. You, you got to turn those guys, especially when you need a big inning, see what happens. Now, that, only because he's got few strikeouts, he's yep. not going to chase. Give him a chance to hit something right down the middle right here. 3-0 count, Stewart with one out. For Van Buren up on top, he'll come home to Holt. Mm. As it just BP soft toss right there, boy. Now he's going to have a three-one count. And he'll foul this one off. Yeah, well, you and I've always <laughs> thought about it. Swinging three O is a sign of how much confidence you have in yourself. Yep, here it is. <laughs> Fouled it off. I bet you it happens eighty percent of the time at every level, little league to the majors. Three O, we look at it. And then you foul off the 3 1. It's amazing. And Ty's nodding the head. He's ready. Mm -hmm. Runners at second and third. Holt digs in the freshman catcher. Stewart on top, the freshman pitcher for Van Buren. <clears throat> Here it comes. And almost plunked him. He ducked under it. Luckily got his bat <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> and he walked him. The base is loaded for Grant Carnes. And we've got a situation on the rise here, boys, in Greenwood. And that's where you've learned um, this ball four. You don't have to get hit, ball four. Right. <laughs> get out of the way. Take your ball. Here comes the courtesy runner for Holt. It's going to be Holland. Yep, Scotty Holland's going to do it this time. Wright got picked off earlier and may have put a rain on his parade. Scott Holland will courtesy run for Holt. What he was probably, Coach was probably asking is if you designate the courtesy runner earlier, can you change courtesy runners or is it a pinch runner now? I, well, it might be a pinch runner because I always thought the courtesy runner had to be say you declare it who it yes. is earlier. I don't know if you, have, you declare once he goes out the first time, I think. I don't think it's a pre scripted declare or anything. Well, here's Karn, Sweet Moses. He has no homers today. This would be a great spot for it. Fielder's choice and a strikeout in game two here for Carnes. Stewart up on top. Here it comes. Outside in the dirt, ball one. I like to see that from Carnes. He wasn't over anxious, just thinking about swinging at anything. A good eye. Eight to two, Bulldogs with a loaded bases here with one out in the bottom of the fifth. They trail by six. There's no six run swing, but my gosh, there's a four run. Carnes waits on the 1 0. Got it. Rips it into the gap in the left field. That's going to score one for sure. Brewer will shut down Skaggs. Morgan comes in to score. The Bulldogs have a rally going here in the bottom of the fifth inning, an RBI single for Grant Carnes. And if there's a guy that can hit it out, I mean, we have a couple that can hit him out, but Pettigrew's probably the one that if you were to put money on it right now, mm -hmm. not that I advocate that, No, it'd probably be Pettigrew. Right. Second hit of the inning. Here's Pettigrew now. Struck out, grounded out to short. 
Stewart will step off the rubber. They'll reset. Still loaded up for Greenwood. One across here in the bottom of the fifth. It's eight to three now. Cole out on deck, but Pettigrew in the limelight right now. That's Hudson Stewart, the freshman, up on top. And now the catcher, Pashir, is going to go out and talk to his pitcher. Now this this is big. I mean, this is really for for everybody because we we see Van Buren's not deep in their mm-hmm. in their pitching um, for conference just games. Just looking at their stats. Just right. looking at their stats. Sure. They, they may have other guys there. They have they have three that are really confident in. And that's just by innings pitched. Correct, that's right. What you're looking at. Well, here's Hudson uh, Stewart. He's a freshman up on top. He's got Pettigrew, the senior, our first baseman. One out. And Pettigrew just missed a little curveball. It was right in there. He kind of grits his teeth. He fouled it straight back. I mean, that thing was out there for him to drive, but just not much velocity on it. 0-1 count. Come on, Brady. One time, baby. Pettigrew waits. Shifts the bat through. Now he's ready. Here it comes. And swung in an off-speed delivery that fooled him a bit. 0-2 now. That one kind of fell off the shelf. This kid's got some junk. He's just got to compete now, put something in play hard, try yep. to keep it out of the middle infield on the ground. 0-2 count. Stewart up on top. He's ready. Pettigrew wags the bat over the right shoulder. Oh. Here's one drive. Get it. Stay fair. It's foul. Just foul. Outside left, that was going to be two, maybe three runs scoring, and they'll have to back up and do it again on a long strike. Well, it was easily three. Uh, Holland was already yeah, th- almost was. a third. <laughs> oh, two again. Woo. Pettigrew just out in front a bit. Mm. We well, can almost guarantee what you throw now. I mean, if you're on the defense, you're like, well, that's just a long strike. So now you come off speed away and hope that he's way early or, you know, just swing and miss or get something off the end of the bat. He's certainly amped up. You know the batter's got the adrenaline flowing because he just missed. Maybe a base is clearing double. Here's Hudson Stewart for Van Buren up on top, comes home with it. And that one's just fouled out of play. Good job from Pettigrew to foul off a very good pitch. Oh, he, he I think he missed his spot because that was a curveball that was curving back over the middle of the plate. And I, I think it probably caught Pettigrew off guard too. <laughs> 0-2 now to the Greenwood first baseman, Brady Pettigrew. Stewart's ready for Van Buren up on top. Here it comes. This ball's fouled out of play. Ah, Pettigrew just battling up there. My God, this is what we came to watch, Keith. That's right. Senior at the plate, down by five, bases loaded, facing a freshman. Sure, certainly like your chances with Pettigrew here, but he's in the 0-2 hole. Can he win the battle against this freshman? Hudson Stewart, who's been fantastic here in game two, to be quite honest. Plenty of run support, though. That sure helps the nerves, obviously, for any pitcher. And Brandon, Coach Brewer, is wondering what the the one, I think he's wanting maybe a balk out of there, I guess. The pitcher stepped off the rubber, and Sandifer's wondering as well over at first base. You're not going to get out of the umpire behind the plate. He, he's, he shrugged his shoulders. Yeah, and, he didn't, yeah, he didn't see anything. So Pettigrew will get back in. Stewart up on top for the pointers. And he'll step off again. They just can't seem to get settled in maybe with a Well, the way the lights are set up here, catchers have a hard time. If you look at Ty Holt's fingernails, they're they're fluorescent yellow so the pitchers can see them. There's a shot. Pettigrew got through the hole. That's going to score one. He's going to shut Holland down, and they'll go station to station. And I like it. Good at bat from Pettigrew. Had to get through all of the commotion, all of the stop and stop, start and stopping in an 0-2 hole. And the bases remain loaded for Jackson Cole. Oh, baby. The Bulldogs trying to rally, and here comes the Van Buren coach. And they're going to take the ball from the freshman and go to the bullpen. Bulldogs have cut the lead in half now, eight to four. And with one out, we need one, we got to get one more. I mean, at least, yeah, yeah. we'd be because then you got two more innings, cut it in half, keep 
I, I like our chances, but you know it's tough because Greenwood doesn't and I don't deserve got nothing to do with it, but they don't deserve to come back and win. But maybe it'll help us going forward if we can come back then now he's like okay let's not put ourselves in that situation again Mm -hmm. let's make sure we come out stronger and let's start next time the way we finish this game now all that being said we still have to come back we still have to (laughs) score one or two here and then next inning score a couple and then go out and hold them and uh, so there's we still got a lot of meat left on our bone but or on our plate wherever right that is the coaches are Discussing, I think what they were wanting would be a balk called earlier with the umpires. Both Sandiford and Brewer now getting his uh, money's worth over there. It's not an argument, just probably a, a question, an answer session. Their yeah. new pitcher, they go back to the three quarter guy again. Yep. Price. Jacob Price. And just his arm slot gave Greenwood Batters a little bit of fits in this first appearance in game one. Tonight's game being sponsored in part by our Grand Slam sponsors, J&H Automation Solutions, Craig Gigerich State Farm Insurance, Ducks Body Shop, Freedom Roofing, MSG Waste, Shirley's Tax Services, Taylor Family Vision, Top Notch Roofing, Virtue Energy Services. Eight to four, Van Buren leads. Greenwood's got the bases loaded here in the bottom of the fifth. And Keith, won, uh, Brady Morgan started this thing off from the nine hole and got a leadoff walk here. Well, I say lead off. There was a one out because Bircher flied out to the left. So there was a one out walk. We both said it's got to go now. The order was turned over. Skaggs came up, single. Ty Holt, walk. RBI, single, Carnes. RBI, single, Pettigrew. Bases loaded. Carnes at second. Petty's over at first. That's Holt's courtesy runner, Scotty Holland, at third base. And here's Jackson Cole in a spot right now. He walked and scored a run, grounded out to third. Cole's been swinging a good bat. Another car's pulling in and leaving. The school bus, all right. Base is loaded. Jacob Price will face Cole. First pitch, swinging up the box, it goes, and Cole comes through with a two-RBI single. Carnes is in. Holland's already in there. He's safe at second, almost over Randon Petty. But Cole comes through, first pitch, swinging. Boy, good barrel up the middle, good base hit. And who was that? Was that Carnes that scored? Yes. He was not stopping. I don't know if Coach, I don't know if he was waving him, but it was like Carnes was going to score no matter what. Right back up the box, the Van Buren players thought they had Pettigrew off the bag. He was off the bag, but the tag was not there quite in time. And it's eight to six now. And here is Austin Mitchell. The Bulldogs with four across here in the bottom of the fifth. Still just one out. Runners at first and second. The tying runs on the base pass. Price ready, the three quarter inch or the three quarters arm slot. That one's outside. Mitchie, almost a sidearm action, we'll call it. Good job of Mitchie to hold off and not offer at that. We'll take a couple more here, won't we? Yes, four hits in the inning for Greenwood. They're back, the dugout's up and on their haunches now. That's what we need, a little action. Price picks back to second, and Mitchell rips this from the left. Go, He's go, got go, the go, left go, fielder burnt. It's over his head. It's down. Cole's on his horse. Pettigrew's going to score. Brewer's going to shut him down. There's second and third now with one out and an RBI double for Austin Mitchell. Here come the Bulldogs. Oh, baby. Finally got the, got him burned. Came in. He's playing in. i like to see the, the runners read that a little bit better. Yep. I think they were the only ones that didn't know that he was burned. Bulldogs now at eight to seven. They just chopping away, chopping away, and it's Sleepy Zitzman now. A little bit of pep talk from Tony Sandifer over here on the first baseline. Tony said, "Knock the crap out of it." I think that's what he said. I could read his lips. Well, Mitchell's not stopping either. You look where the uh, the defense is. Mitchell's going to score if you can get something to the outfield, and I think Coach is going to make a change. And yep. back out to the pitching change. They're going to the dugout. The Bulldogs have chased this uh, Jacob Price kid. And they go to the bullpen. Greenwood softball up 10-1 to after five innings. So they're putting uh, 
bow tie or a bow, if you will, ribbon on the doubleheader sweep over there against Van Buren. 8-7 here, pitching change. Let's take a break and come back and get back in the mix here as the Bulldogs will send their ninth batter to the plate in the man of Triple Z, Zachary Zitzman. Quick break on the Sports Hog, 103.5. You can give me a minute. Thank you. Runners on second and third period. Who's this? Zitzman. Oh, no. Pitcher? Yes. Number seven. Seven? Owen Whedon. Yeah. He, he's the next guy with the innings. Change for the pointers. Now picking number seven, Owen Whedon. Ooh, four hits, eight walks, eight Ks. He was in the right field in game one. 57% strike thrower. So now you got to, if you know that, you just got to be patient now, wait for something to be left over the plate. Who's Lovich hitting for? We are back here in Greenwood. Owen Whedon on in relief, the second pitcher here in the inning for Van Buren as the Bulldogs chase Price quickly. He only faced one, two, two batters. Cole with an RBI single and then Mitchie with an RBI double. And now it's Bircher. Listen, I mean, uh, Zitzman, rather. Zitzman. And I'm going to refuse to take back anything you and I talked about in the first four innings when Greenwood was playing so bad because right. all of that that happened still has to be fixed. Sure. If your oh, ultimate yeah. goal is to win conference and, and make it deep into the state oh, tournament, yeah. you can't do those small things. You still have to have energy. Now, this is great. A bit, you know what I'm saying? This oh, is really good. Absolutely. But those other things have to be fixed. You, would you agree with that? Or? Oh, I agree all with right. that, certainly. Okay. As long as we're on the same page. We are. And I'm not sure. Who... Your coach giving him a pitching lesson. He gets one more. He's warming up out there. All right. We get a certain amount of warm-up tosses, I'm assuming, there once they enter. <laughs> you get a certain a number, and he wanted exactly that number. Good. All right, here we go. Zach Zitzman, the ninth batter to come up to the plate here in the bottom of the fifth. Bulldogs have cut this lead to one. It's 8-7 Van Buren, five across for Greenwood here. They've got second, third, still just one out. This is a one-out rally like we've never seen. Zitzman, first pitch swing and a chopper to first base. He's booted but picked up and gathered, but Zitzman gets the RBI as Cole trots in from third, and the Bulldogs have tied this game up here in the bottom of the fifth. Wow. Oh, baby. Wow, what a game. Three unassisted on an RBI for Zitzman. That's out number two. We've batted around here as Bircher back to the dish. Now they're going to have people, they're going to have to watch the lights, all the people that left that are coming back. Yes. <laughs> kind of like, oh, uh, what's his name, Homer Kurt Gibson out there for L.A. Yeah. All right, here's Bircher. He started this inning flying out to right field, and our heads were Tucked between our, in the dumps and we had our heads down and nothing was going right. Now, all of a sudden, we're tied up. And Bircher's got a one-ball count with two outs. We'd already, I'd already written them off. I was already counting the sure. split, weren't you? <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> Never do. Not when Greenwood playing. Runner at third. That one's upstairs 2-0 and oh now. That is Mitchell at third base. He is the go-ahead run. I, I, I take a pass ball right here. Those always get you hyped. Bircher waiting on the 2-0. Here it is. In there for a called strike. Well, it's tough about guys like this that are, you know, 57% strikes that have eight walks and eight Ks. It's tough to sit on something around the plate because it may be anywhere. That's what makes Zitzman so effective is that, you know, he may throw a couple down the middle and then he may throw a couple. You have no idea where they're going. The 2 ones, a chopper to short. He'll have to charge. Clean field. And nice pick over there. He is out at first. 
but the damage was done for the Greenwood Bulldogs as they put six runs across here in the bottom of the fifth. We have a new ball game here on the campus of Greenwood High School. 5A West action is never easy. The Pointers in town, 8-8. Eight to eight. Sixth inning coming up after a quick timeout. It's the Sports Hog 103.5. Whew. Action. How are the piggies doing? Three to two. Bases loaded. Full count. Two outs. Williams Myers up. My boss sent me a text something about Spray got a single while ago. Did the run not get across the plate on the replay? I don't know what was happening. Uh, was that just now or? No, earlier. That was? 33 minutes? Nice. Wow. It's all right. An American girl. We welcome you back to Greenwood, Arkansas. Tim Terry, Keith Holt, live Bulldogs baseball. And a ball game now has brewed here in the nightcap of this doubleheader. Bulldogs won game one, three to two. We're getting pounded here in the nightcap, eight to two. Greenwood went ahead and put a six spot on them in the bottom of the fifth, a 33 minute inning total for both teams. And they were tied at eight here. Well, that's tough for you know a pitcher to come back to sit that long, <laughs> right? And now he's got to come back. And oh, by the way, you got to you got it's tied ball game, new game. Let's go. It's three, four, five in their lineup. Here's Ethan Bowen. Now he's got an RBI double, reached on a fielder's choice, struck out, and that's a called strike from Mitchell. He should have new life now with some run support. That ball's fouled out of play. Good way to get the Easter weekend started. Tomorrow's Great Friday. Here's the 0-2 outside. They call it Good Friday, but it was a great Friday for all of us anyway. For sure. One ball, two strikes. Mitchell brings it in there. Got him. I mean, sent to the dugout. He started walking before it got to Holt's glove. (laughs) Throws him up at a backwards K for Mitchie. And here's Weston Wilcox. The only thing he had to do there was have the umpire call a strike. That was kind of – I was worried. Because <laughs> the batter certainly oh, told he did. it was. Yeah. Here's Wilcox now. Walk, scored a run, fly it out, ground it out. Mitchell's got new life too. It's, it's a, I'm telling you, it's a different game when you know you're pitching for – you're pitching for right now right. your game. You're, this is your life right here. Here's the 0-1. Boom. Fouled straight back. 0-2, oh, way ahead of Wilcox. He was a losing pitcher in game one for the pointers. A sophomore, good player. All-around athlete. Here's the 0-2 from Mitchell. This one's in the air. Zitzman finally spots it, comes flying in, draws the bead, and makes the catch. Boy, Sleepy's been <laughs> wide awake out in the right field. Zach Zitzman, ladies and gentlemen. You know, and, and this is still part of the the season where people are earning spots. You know, still looking for that nine hole. Brady looking to take it. Yeah. Zisman has been in and out of right field, but you know the way he's played it, he he may have solidified that's where well, he's going to be. And he's been magic at the plate too. Both games, really, Keith. I mean, he's been spectacular tonight. He's really solidified his spot. First one now to Matthew Nichols is in the dirt ball one. You'll see a fastball here. Two outs, top of the six. Tie game now. Boom. Just low. Ooh. Two and oh. Holt tried to bring it up, couldn't do it. He did it, just couldn't get the ump to buy it. Two oh to Nichols. In there for a called strike. Nichols has walked, reached on an air, grounded out to third. Over oh two. Here's the two one now. Breaking ball in there for a called strike. That's filthy right there. Wow. Just filthy stuff. Watch, for watch one of them. Watch this screen here for this next breaking ball. Just watch this thing move. 
fastball right there. down the pipe. <laughs> he froze him up in a backwards K, and the Bulldogs have come to life here. Oh, baby. What a one, two, three inning from Austin Mitchell. A couple of strikeouts looking. And Greenwood now with a chance to take the lead here, going to the bottom of the sixth inning. And guess who? It's Mr. Brady Morgan in the nine hole getting to start things off again. You can't give me a good afternoon, see you later, and good morning? Oh, good, good morning, good afternoon, good night. I mean, yeah, well, I, yeah, it's been used before. Okay. I still like it. It's I good. Mean? I probably should have there. <laughs> wow, what a ball game. Greenwood now in the driver's seat. Can they get a run across? Just take the lead there. You've got Morgan Skaggs Holt here in the sixth. If you're going to do it, you need to do it this part of the lineup right here. Well, there's a reason why they're at the top. These are your higher averages. I mean, that's why the batting order is set the way it is. Morgan's been – a matter of fact, we haven't talked about Morgan. He came in batting 222. Uh, obviously, with limited plate appearances and limited at-bats. But he's certainly – I remember him for sure getting a nice hit up in the through the box at Russellville um, in the first of the game two of that – uh, first conference battle down there a couple of weeks ago, and he's done well tonight with an RBI single and a walk to score a run. Haven't got him out yet. Let's see if he can keep it going. Eight to eight, bottom of the sixth. Man, this this is good for everybody. You know, if, if Van Buren, if you're Van Buren's coach, your kids need to be in this situation. Again, it's this whole season is bigger than one game. I mean, everybody sure. likes to win this, but yeah. you also you got to improve. Win or lose, your team has to continually get better. Especially if you know the, the Little Rock Christian Valley View, the teams Marion, um, mm. those teams on the other side of the state are they're head and shoulders right now, more prepared and ready because those guys are all seniors and juniors. You know, you got to get these young guys brought up fast, right? Well, here's Brady Morgan. First one to him is right down the middle of called strike. Shelton throwing over there in a little bit off outside. I don't know if he's. The one that's throwing or the guy he's playing catch with is the one that are getting loose. Breaking ball right down the middle of 0-2 now to Morgan. My guess it's either going to be <clears throat> Zitzman or Taylor. It's got to be somebody that throws strikes, and either one of those two would be okay. Mm. Got him. Morgan never got comfortable with the at-bat. Three pitches, three strikes. And get, goes down looking one out. Here's Skaggs now top of the order. Mm. Skaggs. Two ground outs, but then a single his last time up. Scored a run. Got the rally really going in that sixth inning. This is Owen Whedon in for Van Buren, their third pitcher tonight. And that's inside ball one. Bottom of the sixth, Bulldogs tie game now. Scored six in the bottom of the fifth, their last at bat to tie this thing up. Skag showed bunt, pulled back the ball right down the middle. One and one. Van Buren put four on us in the first. We scored two in the second. Then they scored two in the third, two in the fourth to take that eight to two lead. The one one. Skaggs rips this one to center, but the center fielder will drift back a few steps and make the catch for out number two. Maybe snow cone a bit, but he got it. <laughs> Here's Ty Holt now with two outs. Can he start a two out rally? Holt. Walked, single, walked. So he's one for one. His courtesy runner scored a run a while ago. Picked off the first time in the third, a courtesy runner was. Here it is. And first pitch fouled straight back, home run hack, which I don't, haven't seen that much often from him, but I sure like it. Yeah, and you can't. I mean, that's, he got a fastball, and mm. he had to speed up his hands because I think it was on the inner half. So his hands went really fast, but he's got to be ready for that pitch when he gets in the box. He's down the third baseline. Coach Brewer, arm around the neck, little pep talk, pat him on the back. And that's a courtesy to either the catcher or the umpire, whoever got hit. You know, you kind of give him a break. Mm -hmm. Somebody took the brunt of that foul ball. <laughs> Two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. Ty Holt, the freshman catcher at the plate. And that one's low. One and one now. Whedon and Holt asked for time. He's had it granted by home plate blue. Gathers his thoughts and stands back in. 
Weeding up on top for Van Buren from the windup. Here it is. Outside. No, he didn't go. They're going to say he went. Oh, boy. Called strike. Whew. One ball, two strikes. That's about the same check swing we saw earlier, which the ump asked me in game one. I said, we didn't think he went. Here's the one, two. In the dirt, two and two. Two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. Ty Holt, the freshman. Big spot for him. See if he can keep a rally going. Huge gap to the Farmers Bank logo in left center. Here it comes. Outside. Nope, they rung him up on the outer half. Woo, tough call. Got to protect there with two strikes, though, and it's a backwards K for Whedon. The Bulldogs go down in order. We head to the seventh inning. It'll be Pashir, Kane, and Gardner for the pointers. Tied at eight here. 5A West doubleheader game number two. Bulldogs looking for a sweep here at home against the Van Buren pointers. Quick break on the Sports Hog 103.5. Minutes fine. Mm. Lady Bulldogs win one nothing soccer at Mountain Home. All right. We are back here in Greenwood. We go to the top of the seventh. We're tied up. Game number two of this doubleheader. Lady Bulldogs soccer with a nice road win at Mountain Home. One to nothing. Over the Lady Bombers. The boys battled to a scoreless tie. Mitchell back on. Try to close this thing out. He'll face their... Let's see... Six, seven, eight hole in Peyton Peshear. Lots of Bulldog blood in this kid. His dad, a Bulldog great. Three-sport guy here. Douglas could play some baseball for sure, along with some football and basketball. He's been good here in this second game of this doubleheader, too. Peshear has a single RBI, a walk, scored a run, and a single RBI. Scored two runs, rather. Looks to strike one there this time, though. Strike two. 0-2 oh, now to Bashir. They're a Van Buren catcher. Mitchell up on top working quickly. Here comes the 0-2 to Bashir. And Holt tried to frame it. Couldn't get it. 1-2 and two now. Good pitch. Bashir takes his time. Climbs back in. He's ready. Mitchell kicks and fires. That one's pull cued off to first base side foul ball. Eight to eight, top of the seventh, Bulldogs. A six-run rally in the fifth to tie this game up. Who'd have thought? Here's the one-two. This one's in the air and out of play over the back towards the high school. Peyton Peshear for Van Buren, their catcher. One ball, two strikes. Mitchell kicks and fires. Chopper, swing and bunt. Going to be a tough one for Vinci. He fields it, but no throw. Yeah, an infield single for Bashir. Fantastic. He's an impossible out here in game two. Yeah, Vinci was deep. It, you could tell off the bat that was going to be a base hit. No question. So, Austin Kane now. He's singled with an RBI in the first. Struck out and ground out to the pitcher to end the fourth. Vinci will come up on the grass at third. And Mitchell comes set up top. Bashir has a little lead at first. Square to bunt. It's in there for a strike. They throw down. Got him. Got him. Oh, boy. Wow. He was close to out. And a snap throw down from Holton. Ty thought he had him, too. Well, you and I had the angle. To, to yep, the umpire's right. behind him, and he can't see for Petty. But you and I saw that yep. the ball and glove beat his hands there. That's true. And Bashir may have came in on the nether regions a bit. 
when the tag came in or just a slide came in, maybe a knee hurt. He's kind of holding that left knee. The call was a strike at the plate, so it's a 0-1 count for Austin Kane. Everybody's set. Bashir's got the cobwebs out. Mitchell up on top. Showing bunt again is Kane charging at third. And it's in there for a called strike. Oh, but Pettigrew had stayed back. They had him again. They kind of charged for the bunt to no avail, though. Hope popped up. Well, it depends what call you have. Yep, if, right. if, if the first base is supposed to stay back, if the first, the pitcher has this side, then Pettigrew's there. Woo, they throw over barely back in safely is Peyton Bashir. Getting a lot of attention from these Bulldogs, trying to cut that runner down with no outs. It's an 0-2 count to Austin Kane. Seventh batter of the lineup. Here's the 0-2 from Mitchell. He steps off, no throw. Cat and mouse going on now. It's sort of a chess match, if you will. Temperature dropping here at the ballpark. They throw over, and he's in there safe. If you catch him leaning, you got him because it's close enough without him leaning. Mm -hmm. So if you can get him just leaning a little bit. 59 degrees now. Throw over. Got him. Got him. Boy, they called him safe again. He was dead meat. Wow. Tough. No one just wants to make that Van Buren dugout mad, I do guess they? not. Ten to one. Softball wins. Sweeps the doubleheader. Mitchell up on top of the 0-2 to Kane. He comes home with it. And over but low. One and two. Well, their coach got smart, told him to shorten it up. Right. I mean, you got picked off twice. You got to He's do certainly life. been picked off twice. At least one, that one there for sure from Mitchell, he got him. And the one from Holt was pretty close, too. Here's the one, two. Mitchell brings it home. Little high, two and two. Both fan bases, both dugouts active. We're in an 8-8 eight, eight tie at the top of the seventh. Bulldogs, six-run rally in the fifth to tie this thing up. And jockeying for position in the 5A West. Mitchell up on top. He steps off. Nobody out in the top of the eighth. The leadoff single for Peyton Peshear, who's been magnificent here in game two. Three for three with a walk. Two RBIs scored two runs. Here's the 2-2 coming home. Fouled straight back. Now, if I'm tying Mitchell right now, <clears throat> it's a good – it's a good uh, – count for a breaking ball so they may be sending him snap throw over nearly got him again safe call so this is where i uh i do the call from where ty lets him know when he bounces and i think with mitchell being as quick as he is you could get him two and two is the count to austin kane who's kind of been oh oh, the bad throw it had him dead meat that ball went way up in the air Pettigrew couldn't find it it bounced off his glove and holds or sheer is going to go to third and hopefully this ball's fielded so he won't come home. And now 90 feet away with one out. Again, Keith finally missed the par putt. Yeah, he, he had him too. He had him leaning. He had him on yep. that bounce. Certainly did. Good throw probably gets him and spike a fastball. No outs. Two and two the count still. Now they don't have to worry about trying to throw the first in the cat and mouse game. Just come get this batter. Mitchell up on top. Infield comes in. Tie game, top of the seventh. Here it is. Fouled right back at us. I was going to catch that. You didn't flinch, did you? No, I went like this and jumped to catch. All right, just making sure. Built-in flinch was in there a little bit, maybe. Two and two. Still the count to Austin Kane. Poor guy's been kind of forgotten all this mess. This dude at the plate, their center fielder. And he, again, to, to me, Vincey's got to be on his toes. You know, you got to, if Holt's got a chance to throw him out, Vincey's got to be there. Two and two. Here it comes. Just missed full count. I would just assume we play, get the batter. I know it's a weapon to have a pickoff, but a throw goes in the left field, and he's scoring for sure. No, don't throw it to left field. Well, here's a three two. Foul. It's in the play, and Pettigrew's got it. In the dirt, one down, big one. Pop that, out. 
and that's the problem. You got to have catchers that you don't have to worry about that because it changes the game. Sure. You know, Bashir's is having to stay closer than maybe a a pass, something that doesn't really get by. He can't score on. Yeah. You know, he's got to stay close. Certainly makes a difference. Oh, it does. It's huge. Here's Hudson Gardner, their DH. Singled, singled, reached on an air. So he hadn't been out yet. And Brewers will go talk it over with the boys at the mound. We're going to talk about a possible probably a squeeze or safety squeeze just to make sure with having especially Vincey at third, not really being a third baseman, Mm -hmm. make sure everybody's on the same page. One down here in the top of the seventh. High drama in a pivotal. 5A West battle here in this doubleheader. Greenwood won game one. This thing's going to have implications. Uh, You watch. You come back and see the winner of this game. Might be that game they needed to get in the playoffs or get that two seed or one seed, whatever. This is going to be a huge uh, outcome on the season here as the meeting has been broke up by home plate blue. And Mitchell back to work up on top. He's going to get to see Hudson Gardner, their DH. Mitchell with the infield still in on the grass. Gardner right-handed bat. Austin's up on top for the Bulldogs. Outfield shallowed up a bit as well. Mitchell kicks and fires. That's upstairs. Yep, Vincey doing better now. He's been, you know, hey, don't don't forget that. You got your left fielder kind of moving that direction. Mm -hmm. Just don't forget to pitch to the batter first. One ball count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Boy, I'd like to see Mitchell dig deep here, get a strikeout. And then defense moves back, yep. and something off the thumbs, ground out, fly out, yes. go in, and let's win at the bottom. 1-1 one, one count, <clears throat> one out here at the top of the seventh. Here it comes. Breaking ball in there for a called strike. Just nasty stuff. <laughs> and I, you know, it's a, it's a lot of – a credit to Ty, too, to being able to block it for you to have a freshman catcher and a, the winning run at third, and you're throwing breaking balls right there. Got, Got him. him. Nasty on the outside, black, and a backwards K. There's two down. Two stri- two outs now, eight to eight. Go ahead, runs at third base, and that's Peyton Peshear, who is awesome here in this second game. Now you can't let down your guard. You still, you still yeah. got a pitch. You still got to shift and block. Tristan Ray now. He's due. A sack fly, a sack bunt, and a strikeout. He's in their nine hole. He's their shortstop. Here it is. The first one is outside. Good job of Holt to bounce out there and flag it down. Two down here at the top of the seventh tie game. Go ahead and run it third. Woo. Austin Mitchell up top. He's set. Here comes the pitch. Upstairs 2-0. And this is the nine-hole, Keith. We talked about it. You walk this guy or he gets on, they go back to the top. and you got to face that Ian Rowe guy who's been good tonight as well. Yeah, you make him beat you. Make this guy beat yep, you. Go right, right at him. 2-0 count. Here it is from Mitchell. That is in there. Trying to check his swing. It went off his bat. Foul ball. <laughs> That's the way he just hit his bat. Just hit his bat. Yeah, throw it his bat. Two and one. See some little six, seven-year-olds in their softball outfits coming over to cheer on the boys here at the ball field. Here's the 2-1 from Mitchell. Strike call on the inside black, two and two. Big call. Yep. Big bender there from Mitchell. Here we go. Deuce is wild. Can the Bulldogs win the battle? And it's foul right back at us. This is going to be a big pitch. This is going to be a breaking ball here. And you just hope Mitchell don't overthrow it and pull it across to where it's a you know pass ball. Standard control here. Here's a two-two. Got him swinging all oh, the nasty bender. Swing and a miss. They go strand the runner at third. Oh, baby. And the Bulldogs come to the bottom of the seventh, a chance to walk this thing off. Tied at eight with Van Buren. Quick timeout. We'll come back and bring it to you here on the Sports Hog 103.5. <clears throat> One minute. Stop crying. Oh, I know. 
anybody from Alma is watching. I'm sure everybody. I haven't watching. said anything in four years. <sighs> it's the only Thursday conference game, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. The whole world's watching. How I many we got watching? Millions. <laughs> We're on the World Wide Web. Two fifty-two, four fifty-two. Hey, welcome. This is it. Bottom of the seventh we go. We're in Greenwood. 5A West Baseball. Tim Terry, Keith Holt, glad to have you aboard here, wherever you are in this great country of ours. Happy Easter coming up this weekend. Good Friday tomorrow. Now, this is about stamina. Now, you know, yeah. you're talking about if Greenwood doesn't do it here, extra innings. We talk about pitching depth, not only for Van Buren, but for Greenwood, too. Your stamina of your hitters. I mean, this you want to end it now if you're Greenwood. But then if you keep going, you know, who's going to – Who's going to strike first? Like that to me, Van Buren had the chance right there. Yeah, right. Didn't they have an opportunity to squeeze a run that last yeah, run? Yeah, one in? out. Yeah, sure. I mean, so they had their opportunity. Greenwood's got to get the same opportunity. Well, it's the three, four, five hole for the Bulldogs. Carnes, Pettigrew, Cole, the meat of the order, right here in the bottom of the seventh. You almost couldn't script it this well. Owen Whedon, the third pitcher for Van Buren, is tasked with putting. The three, four, and five batters out for Greenwood. Let's see what Mr. Carnes can do. Uh, can he put another notch in his storied career so far as a Greenwood Bulldog? First one to him is over but low. We're in the bottom of the seventh, tied at eight. Greenwood, a six-run fifth inning to tie this game. And now looking to walk it off. Carnes has mm. lifts this one out of play right side. And here, here's probably the biggest problem for the umpires is you've got two educated fan bases. I mean, oh, it's, yes. It's not just That's right. normal fans. You've got yes. Van Buren people. Or they're, they're educated in the game of baseball yes. and, and how it works. So, Carnes, a swinging butt, a high chopper, Seeger at third. Had a trouble bobbling it. We got a single from Grant Carnes. Base hit. Now you're going to get to see Brewer. What? Let, let's see what the wheel spinning. His, huh? Yeah, let's see how his mind works. Because with Petty, you don't want to bunt Petty, right? So do you do you get him moving? You know, to me, it's there's you got so many options right here. Carnes pulls off all the gear. He's at first base with a leadoff single, Pettigrew, RBI single, a ground out, and a strikeout. The senior first baseman. Time to shine, brother. Let's see if he can find a hole. You'd like to see Carnes be move up without having to waste an out, too, if you can get him in a scoring position. Maybe a passed ball here. Here it comes from Whedon in there for a called strike. Carnes deked like he was going and then got back. I thought they might throw down, but sure looked that way. Well, I guarantee you, Tony, he knows what the pitcher is to the plate, and you have an idea of what the catcher is to second. It's got to be something where the math adds up. Eight to eight, bottom seven. Bulldogs winning run at first. And oh, Pettigrew with an off-speed delivery took a home run hack, and he's in the 0-2 hole. That's Jackson Cole out on deck. He's been fantastic here in game two as well. Scored two runs. Pretty good in game one. A couple of walks. And reached on a fielder's choice. He got flied out to left once. Here we go. Pettigrew. An 0-2 count. There goes Carnes. That's outside, and he's safe. No problem. Swiped the bag easily. Got lucky that he didn't. A little bounce on the bag didn't cost him. They almost came off. Once it was he was big. safe. Yeah, he, the, the pitcher was it was not the quickest to the plate, and he got a great pitch to steal on outside where Pashir had to reach all the way across his body and then, and then gather himself. Really, that's about all he could do. One ball, two strikes. Running, winning run at second. Pettigrew waits from Whedon and swing to miss. Fool him on an outside pitch the way off the plate. Out one. Mm. Well, and to me, Carnes can do what he wants here. If he didn't pick it first, would that be in the winning run? There's not a lot of confidence in, in his picking ability. Mm -hmm. So you can mess with him a little bit to me and get a bigger lead. That's true. Never did throw over, did he? No, he and you, you almost have to in that situation. You get you know he's going. Yeah. So to me, you've got a younger guy that's probably not comfortable with picking, so go ahead and get a bigger lead. Here's Cole. Can he be the hero? He was in the fifth inning of that six run rally. Outside. Good stop by Pashir back there. 
Ball one to Jackson Cole. The good news with that, if you know, if I'm Van Buren's coach and I see that <clears throat> breaking ball go that far, you don't want him to get to third. You're going to get a fastball here. You're not going to throw another <laughs> one of those in the dirt. RBI single last time up for Cole. Here comes the 1-0, and they turn and no throw. Almost caught Grant leaning a bit too much, but no defenseman was there, so no worries about a throw. Well, what you're doing is you, when you steal third, you go when he lifts that leg, and you're just hoping maybe you, you guessed correctly that he takes off. One ball count. Here it comes to Cole. Swing and a miss. Ball was high and a little inside. One and one. Well, Van Buren had their opportunity. They had a runner yeah. on base, a runner at third, third with one, one out. out yeah. This is basically the same thing. I mean, he's in scoring position. Let's see if Cole can come through here. Come on, Jackson. One and one. It's outside, a little low. Bashir tried to frame it. Two good catchers on display today with him and Holt. Yeah, the center fielder's animated. He thinks it was a strike. You just got to play baseball. The left fielder and center fielder are in enough to where if he hits it hard enough, mm -hmm. it's going to be tough for Carnes to score. He's going to have to get a great read off the bat. Two and one the count to Cole. They turn and fake the throw to second. Kendall Diggs hit a three-run home run. Oh, boy. The Porker's putting it on those Bayou Bengals up there in Fayetteville. Two and one to count here to Cole. Whedon's up on top for the pointers. Bottom of the seventh. We're tied at eight. High drama here. Cards at second. Cole takes one upstairs. Good eye. You know, in high school, they never beat twice. One. I'd like to see Carnes after induce, let him do that fake pick the second once and then go the next pick because they, they never pick twice. Right. Bulldogs trailed eight to two in the bottom of the fifth, put six across. And now we're tied in the bottom of the seventh, winning run at second. Cole swings and misses three and two now. Oh, boy, one out. Jackson. Grounded out in the fourth, walked and. Hit an RBI single, scored twice in game two here. Here's a 3-2 to Cole. Greenwood second baseman, a junior. One out. Rips this one back up. The, it's in the center field. Carnes around third. He's on his horse. The center fielder missed it. And Greenwood's going to walk this thing off. Oh, baby. Jackson Cole, an RBI walk-off single. And the Bulldogs complete the comeback and win 9-8 to eight and get the sweep of the Van Buren Pointers here at home. Wow. And, and you said it earlier. The, the implications of this will ripple throughout the the, the Western Conference because, I mean, everybody else was wanting a split. Everybody was wanting a split. And for Greenwood to come back and to get the sweep, that is huge for them. Congratulations, Cole, who didn't look great that at bat, did just Agreed. what he had to do when they got the pitch to drive it, did perfect, and uh, Carnes ready to run. Once you knew it wasn't directly to an outfielder, there was no doubt whether Carnes was scoring – Great job of coaching. I mean, great job. I guess Coach Brewer got them lined out. Yes. Because we, we talked about the energy being down. Yep. We talked about they just didn't seem like they were here. Yes. So, at some point, they turned around. That's the kind of Greenwood that needs to be playing. Well, and hats off to this Van Buren team. Battled hard both games. Never quit. In game one, came back and made it into a one-run game. And then in game two, just couldn't hang on to the lead. Uh, but they've certainly got plenty of talent over there and look forward to watching their progress as they go into the rest of the conference season. But tonight it's the Greenwood Bulldogs who win game one, three to two, and a great come from behind down by six runs in the fifth and then a walk-off single after a six-run fifth inning to tie it up. Jackson Cole with a walk-off single RBI, and Carnes comes around to score. The Bulldogs win 9-8 to eight in the nightcap, move to 3-1 and one in conference play now, and sit comfortably in second place behind the Mountain Home Bombers at 4-1. and one. Wow, what a ball game and a great job tonight for these Bulldogs, the coaching staff. You know, we put dirt on the grave, Keith, and uh, just like this Sunday at Easter, the Bulldogs ri have risen and came from the ashes tonight and win the ball game. That was at first I thought it was going to be a stretch, but you you did well, I, and I did. I, I had signed them out. Um, I did because you know if you've watched this team, they haven't showed that yet. 
they haven't you know at Russellville they didn't show that kind of fight in the second no, game right yeah and right. so I just expect it to be the same as in Russellville so for them to show that that's huge growth and that's huge if they're gonna if if they're gonna be where they want to be at the end of the year they have to do things like that congratulations to Greenwood Coach Brewer the rest of that staff that's a great job well we will call it a night here from Greenwood I hope you uh, enjoyed the broadcast sticking it out with us as the Bulldogs sweep the Van Buren Pointers. Tonight, three to two and nine to eight, and Jackson Cole, the hero here in game two, with a walk-off single to score Grant Carnes, and the Bulldogs move to three and one in conference play. I want to thank Keith Hope, a partner tonight. Well done as usual, brother. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Sean Holland directed and produced, engineered the live stream. I hope you enjoyed it there on YouTube at Greenwood Sports Center. Joey Buffkin running the camera out in center field. Tough to beat the broadcast we have of our live stream. It's second to none. And thank the folks at Crosswalk Media. And my man back at the station, Mike Ferris, doing a good job as well, making me sound so good on that radio. It's tough to do to make this guy sound good, but Michael and Karen Ferris sure pulled it off tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed the broadcast. Well, we will see you next Tuesday. Where are we going? Harrison here. So we'll be at home again next Tuesday for our next 5A West Conference battle. It'll be live here on YouTube, Greenwood Sports Center, and also bringing it to you live and frequency modulation on the home of local sports in the Western Arkansas Corridor. Fox Sports Radio, the Sports Hog 103.5. Happy Easter, y'all.